I contemplated beginning the stream by telling everyone to sit down and drink their goddamn tea. But then I realized I had a Pepsi with me, and you know what? I ain't gonna make myself look like a fool. Not gonna do it. <laughs> I have integrity, chat, and I'm not gonna lie about what I'm drinking myself. But welcome back, everyone. How you been? You all energized? Get your exercise in? Eat right, vitamins, all that stuff? Uh, opinion on balls. I like them. I like them when they're attached to me. I also like dribbling them and throwing them through hoops. A lot of different types of things that you can meet. You, you're asking my opinion on with that one statement, though. You need to add a little bit more context to it. What particular type of balls? Am I cognizant? Thank you for your 24 months, by the way. Is anyone getting an echo or is it me? Uh, you shouldn't be. Uh, because I have... Wait, is anyone on YouTube or anyone in general getting an echo from audio? No. No, just you apparently. Maybe you have like a secondary set of speakers available to you that you for some reason have on. I mean, I can give you an echo just by unmuting the stream and letting audio play through in a feedback loop. <clears throat> I've had that happen before. How are you, princess? I thought for a second you were asking... You were calling me princess. I was like, well, thank you. I do feel pretty. Have you seen what people have done, been able to do with Dragon Dogma's 2 character creator? I have not. I have not really paid any attention to that game since I played the original one a few weeks back. Uh, I'll be playing it probably sometime after I finish this game, so I don't really need to, like, give it any attention right now. <coughs> You're viewing this on a laptop. Hmm. Well, hey, there are nice laptops out there, but, you know, it's probably some kind of you know, weird, meh. Laptops are more prone to issues, I've always noticed. You gotta troubleshoot them more. What is your ACC opinion on Spider-Man 2? Because I thought it was a little underwhelming. Gameplay-wise, it was perfectly fine. It is kind of a little maybe too on the safe side, since it really is just more of the first game. Only with slightly improved web-slinging mechanics, I guess. That being said, the plot was incredibly rushed and uninteresting for the most part, and especially the second act of it, once you got the, you know, the Venom suit. I I've said before, and I stand by it, I don't find Venom to be a very compelling villain at all. I don't find most of Spider-Man's villains to be very interesting, outside of maybe Doc Ock and, I guess, Norman Osborn. Most of them always felt kind of shit to me. <laughs> like, Spider-Man gets held up to the standard as, like, one of the best created superheroes, and I agree with that. However, his rogues gallery, to me, has always been terrible. Like, none of them have ever really... I, I don't know, it just feels like his rogues gallery is weak. And, you know, Venom is always the same story every time he gets introduced. You know, asshole Peter Parker. Then he gloms onto someone he knows. Eh, I, I just... Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever. I didn't dislike the game. I liked the game, though. I had fun with it. But uh, I think I enjoyed the first one more because of the Doc Ock stuff. Uh, you can be royal too, princess. Well, thank you. I like feeling pretty. I, I you know, got my new haircut, looking pretty good. You know, checking myself out in the mirror often. You know, did a workout today. Gotta say, looking pretty good. Do you have a question for you? You said you're doing classic sins someday. Will you send Postal 2, 3, and 4? Postal games are not games you can really take seriously. So no. Those are all about just being like a meth head traumatizing an entire neighborhood there's not really much to be found in it other than like it's a shit post of a video game is what it is it is the developer like you know what this is a video game let's just have our main character do whatever I think I forgot to change twitch stream titles you're right crap I thought I actually did change it but I guess I forgot to hit yo confirm here let me do that now drink your goddamn treat That's, I'm just gonna put that <laughs> There you go. New title. Thank you for keeping me on the up and up and on top of my game. You are gorgeous more than pretty. Well, I ain't that good. I, 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 on my good days, I can maybe I got a 7 out of 10. Couldn't agree more men. Gameplay was fine, but story was rushed. Definitely, uh, I personally loved Venom, but that was about it. I mean, hey, if you like Venom, that's perfectly fine. I just, I don't know. I generally don't like the villains that are essentially the evil version of the main character. They have essentially the same powers and even look similar. They never really 
click with me. There's few that I have enjoyed. A lot of Marvel hero rogues galleries are shit. Like, look at Wolverine, Logan's, they're all hunters, gangsters, doctors. I, I'll be honest, when I think of Wolverine, I think of the X-Men. I don't think of Wolverine on my own, or on his own. Uh, though technically, Wolverine started out as a villain of the Hulk. So I, that's always been interesting to me. That him and Hulk had this long-standing rivalry that I guess doesn't really play up that much anymore. Uh, but yeah, I can't really just... I, I know like the movies really focus on Wolverine, but to me, Wolverine is just another member of the X-Men. And his story is like just part of their story. Uh, but yeah, I actually agree that Marvel doesn't do villains as well as DC. I think that's maybe one of DC's strengths, is they do better villains. Not that I am one to talk, I don't really know enough about comic books. I'm not, not one of those comic guy nerds. Uh, fun fact, or uh, FMK, Fat Chocobo, Cloud's Mom, that goblin with the cactars. Are you listing things that you find attractive? Or what? Going to switch to my phone, you know what? Probably a better option. Though the Twitch app ain't that great either. God is damning that tea. God actually hates tea. It's in the Bible. Don't drink it, along with alcohol. If you had to live in a Final Fantasy game, which one would it be? Well, I've got some options here. <laughs> I've got some options. If I wanted, the worst one would probably actually be 13 because it seemed pretty shitty. Uh, FF9 is my favorite Final Fantasy world, but I don't know if I don't want to live in like a, a steampunk medieval fantasy land. Seems like it's got some issues. Possibly 8, honestly, since it's like sci-fi just enough, but it's not too sci-fi. It's kind of like a world I already know. And seems pretty familiar. So maybe that one. Have you played or plan on playing Pacific Drive? I have played the demo of Pacific Drive. And I plan to play it at some point. I just don't have time right now. Because this game is taking forever to get through. <laughs> you speak as a mobile Twitch user. It fucking sucks. Maybe he meant the YouTube tw uh, the YouTube app though. I was reading that off YouTube chat. So that's probably what he meant. Dart just wants to be the simp to some sexy sorceress. I mean. I, I could probably be a decent cyber. <laughs> Don't you like Jet Jetstream Sam, though? He's a mirror image villain. I don't consider Jetstream Sam to be a mirror image villain of, Ra of Raiden at all. Just because they both use katanas is not the same thing. Like, you, that's like saying every samurai villain is like, I don't know, that, that feels like a disingenuous argument. Uh, that's insulting. I don't know, I, I don't get that feeling from them. That they're like, the one, their personalities are completely opposite of each other. Uh, their goals are pretty option. Op yeah, I don't know. Yeah. To me, I don't know, yeah, to me that just doesn't work as a description. I mean, maybe some people see it that way, but to me, it just, I don't know. Who else sees, like, Jetstream Sam as, like, a clone villain of Raiden? I don't. Love the YouTube app. Sometimes when I open it, it just opens a random short video by default. That's, YouTube really pushes those shorts, by the way. In fact, I'm probably going to start releasing some shorts myself just to get, you know, get in on that game. Uh, Sid looked and acted like an old... Uh, Alright, Frost, you have to stop trying to, like, get ahead of me in the plot. <laughs> Let me find out myself, man. I'll get there tonight, don't worry. Let's, let me see it and, like, see it for myself. Then we can talk about my opinions on it. Uh, you've got to read Craven's Last Hunt. Amazing Spider-Man story. Uh, who would you guys say are the best Spider-Man villains? I've already said I only really care about Doc Ock and maybe Norman Osborn. Those seemed like the only two, because mainly they have personal lives that touch on Peter's. And, you know, I don't know, they seem like they work better than the others. Uh, would you play a barista simulator, but after that you finish a work day in a game, get to be a detective? That is an interesting concept. Uh, but I've seen, I've played Dave the Diver, which is like a game where you hunt fish and then you work in a restaurant for its two different types of gameplay. So you could probably make that happen, actually barista part of the day but then you become a, like a noir detective later yeah that could work you can make that into anything chameleon to me was always kind of i don't even know who the chameleon is thoughts on dr doom i i i, I like that he's very positive about himself he's very egotistical that's a good sign of a good villain he says he talks about himself in the third person i i don't know much about dr doom i i'll be honest with you i know he wears the metal mask he's like the dictator of Lativia or something like that. He fights the Fantastic Four all the time. That's about it. 
I hear he's probably going to be replacing that guy in Marvel right now who got put in jail or sentenced to prison or something because his movies weren't very good. What do you think of Agent Children? Did you hate it? Agent Children? Um, do I, should I know what that is? Because it's not ringing a bell. Noob Cybot was a cool Spider-Man villain. Okay. Uh, last night battle was a nail biter. It really was. That was a good fight. Advent Children. Oh, Advent Children. That movie was terrible. <laughs> Didn't like that movie. I know a few people who did. It had a few cool action sequences and that and some good music, but that was it. Plot wise, it was it's basically the plot that like almost ruined a bunch of uh, characters character in it. It made Cloud into the emo edgy guy without any mirth whatsoever weirdness. Like compare Cloud from Advent Children to the Cloud in this game. Very, very different. Uh did I watch the complete version? I did. <clears throat> Main villain in Advent Children is water. Come on. Well, no, it's like that. Kadaj guy. Advent Children was your first exposure to Final Fantasy. I'm surprised you got, you developed an interest in it. You always seem to hate every video game movie I've ever heard. I don't like video game movies. I one, I dislike the notion that video games are somehow inferior to movies. I so it feels like that's always the argument like you got to get a movie man it's like that like that's the ultimate form of entertainment i dis disregard i disagree with that idea uh i feel that for a, to, the transition of a video game to a movie is always a lesser thing because you're taking the stuff that makes the game good out of it which is the interactability of it that you're the actually one in control of it and then be making it into passive media not that i don't just not that i dislike movies i just feel like games are better than movies and I, if I honestly, if you give me the choice, I'm pretty sure if I give any gamer the choice, would you rather play the game or watch the movie? Almost every one of them will take. I'd rather play the game. And it doesn't help that most video game movies are trash. They, they've only recently got a few good ones, and even the, I think the ones that have been somewhat good aren't even that great. You like random Dardigan quotes? I have an entire quote section on my Discord that you're gonna love scrolling through. <laughs> Spider-Man, uh, sorry, I didn't know what came over me there for a second. Anyway, origin, or, villain origin story. Uh, the immersion is gone, that's why, true. Video games are always had to adapt to a movie because so many things that games structure themselves around are lost when they make it. It's just that video games are still, when you think about it, a very immature form of entertainment. They've only been around for around 40 years now versus the full century that movies have had. So they kind of get seen as like the junior in the situation, and I disagree. I don't see them that way at all. See, I am I am what you would call uh, what's 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 the term here? A video game supremacist. That's right, chat. Video game pride, video game supremacy. Take it any day over a boring ass movie. I feel like Rebirth has brought back emo cloud. Uh. Well, Cloud has always had his you know, his moody moments. He is a moody guy after all. But he's also involved in a lot of goofy stuff. That's the point. It actually adds levity to it because you have this moody guy who's all serious all the time and he's just constantly being embroiled in like goofy things where he has to dress up as women and soldiers and act in weird ways. And it works because you know what? You know, contrast. Contrast is a good thing. <laughs> just because a character is all serious doesn't mean they can't be goofy. Or at least made to be look kind of goofy. Kiryu, yeah, Kir like Kiryu. I think it's because many older individuals see games as that thing that my children play. Well, like I said, games are now over forty. Like, like first games were like, you know, like Atari was like the seventies, right? So, like games at their oldest are only like forty-five years old. So, if a lot of the people that are now in those positions to do that now see it a slightly differently since the old games have been there for them since for most of their life. Uh, there's a bit of a transition going on. It's probably why you're seeing more video game movies right now, actually. How are things going in the USSR, Mikhail Gorbachev? Not so well. Not too well, I'm, I'm afraid to report. Things could be better. 1970 was 50 years ago. Well, like, look, what was... I mean, when I'm talking, okay, someone look up when, when did the Atari release? That's kind of like, technically it was before the Atari. You had arcades, arcade games before the Atari. 
Uh, but I usually think of like gaming starting somewhere in like the mid to late 70s. That's when it got like you could have your home console and stuff. 1977, so yeah, so around 40 or so years, 40 45 years. It didn't really become sort of popular until the 80s, anyways. That's when arcades became a big deal and home consoles started like picking up. Unless you unless you really think people just went crazy over the Magnavox Odyssey. <laughs> oh, I can play Pong. Or whatever this this other thing is. Let me stick this piece of paper over my my TV so I can make everything green. Oh, the graphics. Atari 2600 anyways. Yeah, like I said, yeah, it's about so I'm 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 pretty much more or less right. 40 or 45 years. Funny because novels were seen as a decadent art form. Every piece of entertainment always gets seen that way. <laughs> like theater, movies, music, uh, you know, video games, comics, every form is like, oh, kids these days. What is, I don't see what's into this. Uh, though, you know what? Like, you even kind of see it now with TikTok videos. Like, I can't believe these kids watching Vertical. What's wrong with them? Are their eyes like, you know, snakes? Are they seen in like more Vertical POV or something? <laughs> Uh, video games didn't become too mainstream until the later part of the early two. Uh, generally, generally, yeah, you could argue that, but video games were still a big deal well before into the 90s. They were already making, like, massive amounts of money. Some might say they're too big right now. Rebirth comes hilarious when you think about the perspective everyone wants to bang Cloud. Does everyone want to bang Cloud? Pretty sure that's, like, you know, not the case. But he is a very pretty man, so can you blame him? Quite, quite the attractive, you know, quite the, you know, twink. You know, I was about to say, it, you know, classically attractive, but that's not true. He is very, uh, what's the opposite? Modern attractive? I don't know. Most of all, Sephiroth. Yeah, chat, maybe this is just you guys projecting, then you want to bang Cloud and Sephiroth. <laughs> that, those thoughts have never entered my mind, outside of like, this might be funny to say as like a shit post joke. First game, Super Mario, and turn the controller sideways to play. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, Mukwa Wark Bang Bang. Someone translate that, please. Into Spanish and then into English. You'd bang Sephiroth? Or she would. I don't, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't think Sephiroth would be very good at sex. Sorry to ruin any of your anime husbando delusions. I think he'd be pretty bad. He seems like a selfish lover. Plus, he would, you would eventually get tired of his ASMR shit. It's like, I am way... He, the dude just cannot stop talking above like a barely minus 10 decibel mule meter. It's like, can you speak up, Sephiroth? Tell us how you really feel. What did I walk into? You walked into me arguing that anime, hot anime guys are probably not that good in the sack. And that people shouldn't idolize them or want to marry them. Or sleep with them. Because they're probably bad. You know, the normal kind of conversation you expect when you come into one of my streams. Normal darn- exactly. This is like 90% of the content in my streams. I take the absurd and I argue in a more normal, realistic fashion. You don't want to come here for boring discussions about the weather, do you? <laughs> I think the direction they gave Sephiroth is more the I want to bang clown. Can't the thing is, the sad thing is I can't exactly argue against that. Where we be at in the game? Uh we're on our way to meet Sid tonight. Though we got some like side quests to do before that. Uh but that's the goal to meet Sid and head to Cosmo Canyon. We'll be getting started in just a minute. Actually, don't want to waste too much time. Uh, what FF7, Berserk, and Evangelion have taught me is too much trust. Uh, never trust a silver-haired twink. Never trust anyone who's too pretty. Or flawlessly pretty, that is. Uh, <clears throat> should we go ahead and get started, Jen? We'll let people show up as they as they do. But we, we got a lot of, lot of stuff to get through tonight. A lot of things. I, I want to reach Cosmo Canyon by the end of tonight at the very least and maybe even like do a little bit there. But we got to like, I, I don't want to like leave the side quests behind that are in this place. So we're going to do some of those first. 
I do I did do a little bit today off stream that I could. I basically explored all this section of Gungaga that you can get to right now without advancing the plot, which is like over this way. And I I also went back, I collected the rocks for this guy, so the first thing we're gonna do is deliver the rocks to him and finish that quest. And then we're gonna take on these side quests and also do this side quest with uh you know the proto relics, which are always you know weird and fun. So it shouldn't take us too long, hopefully. Gungaga. Gugugaga. You consider doing gaming sins on Banisher, Ghost of New Eden. It's a surprisingly good game. I do know of that game. I did not like their last game, Vampire, very much. Uh, like I said, right now this is taking up all my time. So this comes first before anything else. This is a much bigger game for me. And a, mu and a game I'm much more invested in. I will consider maybe that one at a later date. But it's definitely something I could send. Hey, little bitty Ray, how you doing? Alright, let's get Baird a new weapon. Oh! Did you find everything? Uh It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. What do you think when Barrett's mission is done, will he replace his, like, gun arm with? Yes, yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! My gift to you, I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> User as he you made like, a very ornate chat. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, haven't caught up on the VOD. Where are we at? We're uh, still in Gungaga. We're gonna head to like Sid. But also do some side quests first. Weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. Then on to Cosmo Canyon afterward. Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? This is the kind of game you wouldn't like playing yourself. But it's perfect for watching a streamer play it, enjoying the stream. Hey, no problem, man. And yo, know, I understand that not everyone likes RPGs. Of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you think Cloud is in love with this sword? He doesn't even remember where he got this sword, Years so no. Now, think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right, and that's no lie. Just take the weapon, Barrett. Stop being so weird about it. <laughs> the Fafnir. Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Barrett, what kind of cake do you think you'd make? Plenty of women that love a good dad, and Barrett's the best bat dad here. True. Only dad here, too. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. Aren't they all? Alright. Check it out. Oops. Vulcan Cannon, goodbye. Hello, Fafnir Rival. Consume all ATB charges and deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. Okay, starting to get to the point where I need some new materia because I can't really do anything new with my current setup. Uh, well, like some of this I need to be linked up as well, and this gun doesn't have any of those. HP absorption materia. Wish that work with just regular attacks and not just magic spells. Um. Mm. 
Could put a luck up material on Barrett. Might not be the worst thing since it increases its critical rate. And with the amount of bullets he shoots off, it might. Eh, I don't know if it's worth it. Item Master? Increase item effect. Efficacy. 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 I cannot talk tonight, chat. Hmm. He does use a lot of items, so it might be pretty decent on him. You know what? We'll put the Static Blast block on. It makes sense for Barrett to have that. He is a bit more defensive guy. Staggering. Increase overcharge. Reload when staggering enemies. Attack power 20. Hence overcharge. Increase overcharge damage. Hence magic guard. Uh, give me that. Is Fafnir a figure in Morse mythology? I believe so. You know, I wonder if FF7 remakes are an apology for Advent Children. Uh, no. Square never apologizes. What are you talking about? Look, unless they come out with a tweet like, here's this game. We're sorry for that movie. Uh, no. I'm afraid not. Companies are very rare. You know, especially company, well, some Japanese companies more often apologize. Only really when they really mess up. Uh, let's see. Uh, Aerith. We're going to try out Sid for a bit. And Kate Sith. Missing with Red 13. If you were Cloud, would you tell Aerith that her boyfriend is dead and moron? Well, he does. Cloud doesn't know that, but yes, I'd be honest with the lady. Why wouldn't I? Huh? Why wouldn't I? Alright, let's pick a, Let's start another side quest. Get these over with as quick as you can. You need to rush, chat. Well, technically we don't, but we're going to. Rebirth and remake exists. Be thanks to Advent Children? I don't know. That Advent Children was like, what, 2005? I don't think they just like, you know what? We're going to make this movie, then 20 years later, uh, we'll release like a remake of it. Do you think this is possibly the best made Nomura has, the best game Nomura's directed? I, 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 I honestly don't know. But I'm not sure how to quantify that, honestly. Uh, but of the games I played, Kingdom Hearts 1 he directed was pretty solid. This has been pretty good too, so it'd be around the same. Dardigan trying to be a Christian girl. I mean, I do, you know, ask the Lord's forgiveness daily. Shit, we're in the house. I mean, forgive me, Lord, where I have sworn. never been in the best condition but look at it holes everywhere i i see oh, none so big that would you believe it all my chickens flew the coop i plugged up the holes mobile game for kingdom that, hearts have good writing I i'll take your word on that let me tell you. i ain't playing a mobile so game especially a kingdom hearts mobile game like crazy how's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all i can't keep up with a flock of chickens <laughs> Oh, it's terrible. All oh, but these two got away. PP and Peep are so easygoing. They stayed right here with me without any urging. But Emily and Peep. Would you what would your reaction be if Sora appeared as a cameo? Depends on what the cameo is. Would he look like he does in the Kingdom Hearts games with his gigantic feet? Or would he just look like a normal person? I wouldn't be happy with it, I'll just say that much, no matter what. Thankfully, I don't think that's possible, since Disney actually owns the character, I believe, or has, like, a say in it. Pretty sure only the shoes were large, and that just means he'd be tripping over them all the time. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Where did you pull that from? My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. I'm surprised she's not terrified of this thing eating her chickens. Three of them are still in the village. 
We should start by searching the surrounding area. The title bullied you into watching this? That's the whole point. I need to swear more in my or like pretend to swear more in stream titles. Uh, press up to use the feed clanger and lure the missing chickens back to Kazra. Slowly move backwards as you pull the clanger along. If a chicken gets too close, press L2 to yank it. I'm fishing for chickens? <laughs> this is new. I kept asking the game to have a fishing game, but I did not expect I'd be fishing for birds. There's one. There. Here, little cheer, chick, 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 chick. chicken wait what shit i had to look back where wait that worked red 13 you just catch them he might accidentally kill it all right lead me to the next red okay there's one are there's i guess it's this one Chicken gets distracted, stop moving and wait for the exclamation focus on the clanger once more. What a side quest this is, by the way. <laughs> No, 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 come back, come back, chicken, come back, come back, chicken. <laughs> Would you like a Kingdom Hearts? Oh, chicken got too close. To this is very weird chicken behavior, by the way. Would you like a Kingdom Hearts lore dumb to be prepared for a Kingdom Hearts? I'm good. I know it all. Or I know enough of it anyways. Right now I'm focused on chicken yo fishing. This is enough information for my brain. God, you chickens are fussy. I went the wrong way. Oh no, she was right over there. Chick oh. Chicken. I'm gonna eat this fucking chicken. Yeah, the fable guy was way better at dealing with chickens. By the way, genius gameplay, could you? Maybe I'll, uh, you no, no bumbo. You've done us all proud. Here's your goddamn chicken lady. It's right here in front of you. Wait, are you a different old woman? What the hell? Okay, never mind. Riveting gameplay. Look, these chickens are important for the vital and the, the economy of this place. We're saving an old woman. 
<sighs> I can't see who's live there. Red or those birds. Pity I'm not a real what cat. The Am I right? I what so changed. what are you then? I'm Kate Sith. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Oh. 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 Why are you out of breath if you're a robot? You don't breathe, Kate Sith. I'm really questioning the logic of how Kate Sith works. Should we trust Car with what? Car? Found one. When the chicken is dot 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 about to charge the feed clanger, press L2 to yank it back just in time and continue to string the bird along. Angry chicken. What's wrong with Barrett, by the way? <laughs> Is this based on some kind of game that's popular in Japan? <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. Shit. Ah! Fucking chicken. Do be careful. It's okay, I needed to reset anyways. I was going the wrong way. This way, chicken. Come to me. <laughs> Come to butthead. I am the cock whisper. Yes, I am. There we go. Chicken rescued. Pete, I was so worried about you. That just leaves Pippily. Goodness me. How far could she have gone? Pippily ran off toward the airfield. No, there's no you way I got lead it back from the airfield the like this. Too. It's like forever far away. Like that's where Sid would be, I would imagine. Oh, we might as well pick up the other quest while we're on our way. Which is over that way. Do they all have P names? Look, she wasn't very original when she was coming up with this stuff. How do you figure it was the airfield? Look, his nose is very good. Uh, he's running off that way. I'm gonna go over here real quick. Well, since the Republic's on the scrap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. Bet our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. Oh. Um, since What's up, here, BB? How you doing, man? I need your help. To Trash stream? Warrior. Trash viewer. Please guide me to greatness. But you know what? I believe in you. I'm you so can become better. Way. With the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know. Telling everyone how you turned some state-of-the-art general weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Oh, I troll well. Oh, I if that's trolling, that's very well. lazy. We crushed him. I expect really? you know better you from my trolls. How you did that. A little creativity. Not an exact crowd, you know? Something unique. He's a friend of mine. Hurry up, we finish the up game already. Hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since Still, he left the village. Come on, man. Give me your A game. Sure a like him is you came in here. We may not you're typing more, stuff up. You're, you're expending calories doing this. Let's see what you got. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Hmm. No can wait, I can't help you? No. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! 
I'm begging you. Huh? Wait. Me? I knew as soon as I saw hmm. your throwing star. Back an old From man darting in the day troll. I do feel like you are gonna troll. Please. You might as well make it entertaining. Bring me in your warrior ways. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can have fun with it. You can make it fun for everyone instead of just annoying and boring. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. Yuffie's gonna make this kid into the next Hokage of this village. Okay, new disciple. Meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey. Why are you so mad? I mean, you can pretend that if you like. But like I said, I'm just expecting better of you is all. I'm disappointed more than anything else. I thought people who would view my stream, if they wanted to troll, would put their heart into it. This is half-hearted, but this is even half-hearted, my man. This is you not trying. What would your parents think of you? They raised a better troll than this. Hippoly is somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to You're soon away. to understand that it's almost impossible to get under my skin. <laughs> and that I can troll you just by calling you lazy. You see, it's not always a good idea to challenge the man with a microphone. Because it takes me way less energy to reply than you. <laughs> oh, we found the chicken. To town. Careful now. And now I gotta lead it all the way back there, huh? Afman's actually, yeah, he's my dummy sock account. So I like, yeah, you know what? That'd be very impressive me to actually be able to type this up while I'm actively moving around with my thumbs on the analog stick. Type it with my toes, I am. I'm, this is going to be annoying as fuck, by the way. Just saying. This this side quest is trolling me harder than it, this attempted trolling is in, in my chat right now. YouTube, my, uh, we don't need to ban anyone. Like I said, very lazy. If I were actually insulted, I would do something about it. Hey, get up. Shit. Sometimes I like messing with trolls, you realize. Presents a challenge to me. Can't Cloud move at the speed of light? I would hope not. <laughs> kind of dangerous to move that fast, I feel. Hey, there's a dinosaur over there. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> they pulled one over. They made me think I was going to lead it all the way back. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. No, Red 13, you're having a hard time hitting this thing. Use your prey instincts. Bird chat. Is the dino teleporting? No, he's just very fast. Yeah, that's actually not that useful here. Hold that up now. 
together. Need my help, do you? Bring it home! Leave it to me. Keep it up. And good. Ooh. Hey. You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. They were quite eager to return. To Wait, does that mean Red 13 can speak to Chocobos? But just chooses not to? It's a newfound lore chat. Didn't realize this before. Uh, okay, we gotta go turn this in, then we'll go help that dude out. Red could have talked with him into turning back home. That's what I was about to think of. Like, why didn't he just, like, do that instead of, you know, what he did? How is he supposed to talk to his food? That introduces an entirely new a level of possible trauma. If he has to talk with his food before he eats it. How the chicken know Red would understand? That's always a you know a mystery of animal conversations, especially non of the same species. They just seem to know that they're animals. They can just talk to each other, no matter what. place they call home. <laughs> Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. Is she not concerned this dog can talk? So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippoli. <gasps> what did you think they were for? I don't think I've ever met such nice young people. Come back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. You've got like four more chickens at best. They could have lived long and happy lives running free. If I hadn't. Well, we all gotta eat. Red 13 is now a vegan. Never even considered that before. What have I been doing? What have I been eating? Oh, let me heal up real quick. I believe there's an inn right here. They actually ate them? Well, they ate one of them. you think that would have healed me, though, but nope. Relationship points with him have lowered? Uh, wait, how do you know? I'm pretty sure it went up. I don't think you can lower your points. Are chickens, or chickens, or chickens, sapiens. Uh, apparently so. Apparently all animals are actually, you know, sentient as long as you have the right animal that can speak with them. When you have, uh, to make your own chicken nuggies. Yeah, Chad, this is the world they live in. This is off-grid. Alright, let's go help out this wannabe ninja. We Americans eat chicken on the daily, and here's the mountain lion from flying about well, that's the thing. If, if if more people had to actually kill their food before they made it, you might see more of you know people having that you know personal crisis. Personally, I don't think I could go around killing animals. That'd be really hard for me if I had to like kill the thing I was gonna eat beforehand. 
that might actually make me you know what these chickpeas i'm gonna stick with these don't want to have to go out putting my uh, putting nails in like bright cow's heads just for a steak every once in a while my playthrough i'm treating yuffie like you are here go away actually i don't like i said i make jokes about yuffie i actually don't mind her i feel like they've done a better job with her in this game versus the original that being said i will continue making jokes about her how the game itself makes those jokes about her if you've noticed Train this guy to be the new Sonon. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Halt, fiend! Please. Help Satatsu strike the enemy ways, three master. times. Pressure the enemy. Don't let Satatsu fall in battle. Okay. Hit it once. Go on, Satoshi. Get your hip wax in. There you go. Brave. Everyone clap for Satoshi. <laughs> now get away from this thing before it kills you. Deal with that. Okay, I killed everything before I could pressure it. I'll get them next time. I really got fine. Retry the battle. You gotta get all three. Halt, fiend! Please, teach me your ways, master. We do this fast. Keep it together. It might be easier if I do this. And then I got turned into a frog. the spells I need to pressure these things. I don't think anyways. Ugh. I don't know that one. I need to get my skin. I don't think I have like assess on cloud right now, so I don't know what to do to pressure them. <laughs> get that again. fixed. Because otherwise we're going to keep doing this over and over again. Quickly just switch back to the Umbral Blade. blade. That way I have Assess. Thought Crisis Core was pretty good. Uh, it was alright, I guess. I, I, it did really feel, still feel like a console. I mean, like a handheld game. Uh, exploiting their elemental weakness, so just pass Blizzard on them. Calling ice. It's on now. Did you, 
we, okay, we got it this time. Let's go, let's three doesn't die. Uh, T, what is this? The Great Britain? No, it's what Sid will tell you when you show up at his place. Come on, no time to waste. However, I get the feeling he doesn't say that anymore, so I had to be the one to say it. Right crisis score, but it seemed to get repetitive. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, I guess I'm just not a big Zack fan. He's fine when in is not I don't think he works as a main character because he's just so cliche. Like he's better go. as like a side character. Can't see the ninjas or the trees. What are you doing, Zotensu? Pressure enemies twice. Stagger an enemy. Don't let it. God damn it. Alright, let's do this. Allow me. These are also weak dice. Kill the frog, it's easier, to, okay, it's easier to pressure that. If they're not getting pressured... Uh oh. These might need to be pressured in a way. Hold on. Uh, hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while they're waiting to ambush prey will pressure them. Yeah, we gotta do that one over again. Isn't Cloud also cliche? He is kind of now. Wasn't so much when he kept the game first rewatch. Alright. Heal up and we'll do that again. I gotta make sure I attack, like, pressure the frogs. They're easy to, you know, do that too. Now, strike swift and true! Show me how it's done! Piece of cake! Calling ice! It's on now! Because they don't go. Don't, it says you gotta like attack them when they try to go into like ambush mode, but they never are in ambush mode. Maybe I should like use weaker attacks. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Come on, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Not until it's stuck. Shit. Oh. Chad, I'm too powerful. Kill them too quick to do this mission. Alright, try this again. Why must now, I be so strong in life? Through. Show me how it's done. And now I just realize I have no MP. <laughs> I used it all up.
Still a frog. I'm still gonna fail this because they killed the frog and uh, shit, I'm being driven nuts by this. I'm gonna lose my mind. This is this, doing this checklist is driving me up a wall. Please, master. Let me try again. You're not doing anything, Sotetsu. I'm doing it all for you. You know, just move on. I am a, right now. No, we're not being defeated. Not like this. No. All right. If they're up, so Cloud doesn't get like distracted, and I can quickly like. Okay. So strategy. Hit each of the toads with an ice spell, then switch to Barret and blast those things until I snagger it, and then we'll do it. Let's get everyone held up real quick. Time to lock in. I've been seeing this lock in comment a lot. Is this like a new saying or like a new meme everyone's been decided to use all of a sudden? Lock in, dude. Are you going to 100% this game? No. Now, strike swift and true. Show me how it's done. I will be doing a lot of it, though. <laughs> Deal with that. Calling I Stop attacking it, Cloud. Stop attacking. I need to stagger it. Okay, we got it. That was way more difficult than it needed to be. Can these enemies be healed? Uh, I don't think you can target enemies with heal spells okay, anymore. Let's keep up the pace. No, let this. No, you don't need another one. He needs another one. This is only your first step on the long and winding road to ninja hood. You su I succeeded where you couldn't on that quest. Oh, you didn't come up with the strats like me. Stagger enemies twice, defeat all enemies within the time limit. Don't let Satetsu fall in battle. Oh, okay. Alright, weak to lice and lightning. Hitting with the powerful offensive abilities will pressure them. Okay. But I only need to stagger this time. And everything, I'm dead. Uh, okay. There 
really got it. Super easy, that one. Oh, Barrett's the one uh, damning everything. Maybe the T line should be his. Uh, Barrett did swear a lot in the original, but he's still not done. But Sid is the one that had the best line, though. But I'm assuming maybe that was never an accurate line. Maybe it was just like the localization screwed up and they decided to correct it. Maybe Sid was just like a very gentle soul. UV's fourth lesson, huh? I need to heal because this this mission is getting me killed. Wait, what? No! You gotta be kidding me! God damn it! That's not fair! That's not fair! Oh, fuck you. Not like this. Uh, auto save? I have no idea. We'll see. Nope. Yes, I don't think so. I think this is right after I finish the mission with the chickens, actually. Well, guess what? I'll do that off stream, chat. You've already seen, seen the most of it. We're moving on. Need to heal up. Oh, what one freaking life is almost done too with that mission. At least I think. I was about to finish a very kind of long and annoying side quest when the game crashed. Don't forget to try some of our I'm so, so unhappy. Yeah, I got the crystal sword back on my back, not the, the one I did have. Like I said, I'll do that one off stream. I ain't redoing all that now. When I was supposed to crash, when I'm not in the middle of something that hasn't been saved in a while. That's when you can save the crash. What's up, Ragadosh? How you doing, man? Alright, we're gonna, like, make our way... Uh, I'm not sure where we... Where are we going? We're going to Cosmo Canyon? That is the goal for tonight, yes. I think I'm headed the wrong way. So Tetsu, you just wait there for the rest of the game. Sound good? Uh, actually, I need to figure out the where the mountain pass is to get me over to this side of the map. So I'm not having trouble finding it. How much of screen stuff have you done? Not much this time because I didn't really want to like head over here and like activate stuff. So I've only done the stuff on the way to the reactor. Okay, here we are. So there's still a lot of regional stuff to do, unfortunately. Alright, so we'll go that way and that'll take you over to the next section of Gungug. 
And that way leads up to a UV side quest. We'll leave that for now. Well, maybe we might come back to that at some point. But that just left such a bad taste in my mouth. I don't feel like doing it again. I'm not the only one in this game that finds something wrong and off about the HDR, right? But like, it feels too dark when you're in, like, shaded areas. Yeah, it just always feels like it's... Mm, they took, went a little too hard on it. Yeah, and it's also very... There's, like, no gradient... Grad uh, there's no gradual, like shift from it it's like sudden as you just saw when you go to like light to dark areas maybe that's a quirk of like using the old unreal engine for they're just kind of stuck with so we could launch off mushroom but kind of want to wait It's like no global illumination. Yeah, this this game looks good graphically, but they are using Unreal Engine 4, not even 5. I like to think once they finish all three games up, they'll port them all over to Unreal Engine 5 or maybe 6 by that point and release it all as one game. Lead me, bird friend. I should be using my chocobo here. Or <laughs> why not? Uh, it's been since way back in the PS1 era. We had four disc Final Fantasy game. Uh, wait, didn't this game come on like two discs? If you bought the if you bought the physical edition, because it's that big. Or am I wrong? Or is that some other game? I know there was a, one game recently that had two discs. up to the airfield. Thank you. This game has two discs. Yeah, there aren't too many of those these days. I was going to get the physical edition of this game, but they were sold out when I went to the store. how everyone worships their like native god with like making a bunch of bismuth cubes for an altar don't get this whole multi-disc thing like the ps1 games had multi-disc because it was a storage limit rather than an aesthetic thing well i'm pretty sure it's because the storage limit for this one as well because they couldn't fit it all in one disc also money adams thank you for the membership man welcome Alright, uh, squares. Okay, circle, circle, square, square, XX. Circle, 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 square, square, XX. Okay, got it.
because FF7 wasn't good enough without filler. Uh, I understand why they had to make the game longer because honestly, FF7 is not a very long RPG, the original one. You can blow through that game pretty quickly. So they made it every area about the same size as it was originally. You'd like blow through like the material. Like the, the FF7 remake would have taken like five hours a beat. So there, I always anticipated a lot of like, you know, new material being added in and also lengthier dungeons. Many good games you can blow through. It's where they're fun. Usually not RPGs though. RPGs are usually not something traditionally you blow right through. Usually when you get one of those, you're expecting something a bit more meatier. It's going to have more plot in more like random battles and everything else and stuff to fill up time. Not exactly going in for an arcade experience. Uh, is anything else? Oh. At least that's been my opinion on it for the longest time. Uh, what other FF games would you want remade? Uh, the only, honestly, I don't really want Square to like try to remake every like Final Fantasy game like Capcom has done to Resident Evil. Obviously, because that'd be too big of an ordeal because it takes three games to do even one of the old PS1 games. Uh, so I'm honestly fine with them just remaking this one. If they want to remake, say, Final Fantasy IX, I'd be cool with that. But I don't think I'd want them to like take the same like brush they went with with this game to that. If they wanted to remake FF9, I'd rather they stick to, like, the traditional way that game played out with, like, 2D backgrounds and 3D characters over top of it. And have it play that way. Just have it, like, brought up to modern standards so you have really nice high-def 4K background art and really nice 3D models over top of it. I'd be down for that if that's what they're doing, but probably not. They probably think that wouldn't sell. And honestly, Chrono Trigger would look great in that 2.5D thing, the visual style that Square Enix has these days. So you can also remake that, as well as FF6, where that, that style would fit really well, fit nicely. But uh, this is too bit much of a thing to have like every final, like every PlayStation Final Fantasy like remade in this style. That's just too much. Because it takes like a decade to do that. Capcom did it with Resident Evil Zero. I don't know why Square didn't do it with the old games. But Resident Evil Zero, well, they, Resident Evil Zero was just them actually making another game off the game they made with the Resident Evil One remake. They were just getting more money, bang for their buck. FF9 gets remade, fix the story, get rid of the dumb mini games like Chocobo, Hot and Cold, and make the battles faster. Well, getting rid of something, you can always make something better rather than just cutting it. Uh, but obviously they remade it. Uh, well, actually, they actually have the Chocobo Hot or Cold kind of in this game. You just now sniff things out on the world map and then, like, dig them up. Uh, as for fixing the story, uh, well, I guess that's going to be subjective. I actually love Final Fantasy IX's story. Uh, so there's very little on the story I would actually, you know, want them to even touch. Because they, you know, I don't know if I'd trust them to wear that anymore. <laughs> All right. I don't want to go to see Sid just yet. We're going to explore somewhere. Not time we meet the man chat. Not yet.
chest. I would say, but I'm good for the time being. I like to live dangerously sometimes. Okay, that takes you... Okay. Let me just see where this takes me real quick. Okay, I thought it would get me up on top of the mountain, not just back down here. Imagine they did a third-person shooter for an X2 remake. Pin 2, you mean? No, chat. What we all really want is a proper, like, full-on, standalone Blitzball game. At least I want that. I don't know about the rest of you, though. Maybe some of you are unsophisticated in your, your tastes. Blitzball was the worst part of Final Fantasy X. I, you say that, but honestly, I had the best experience in the game when I won the big tournament and got Waka's <laughs> ultimate like weapon or limit break, whichever one it was. Because, it, like I said, that was, I literally remember jumping up out of my seat because I was on the edge of it. It wasn't perfect, but if you actually like spend some time with it, it was like basically underwater football RPG. Go up there, bird. What was the first big gaming remake besides Resident Evil 1? Uh, I, that honestly might be the first. There were other kind of like sort of remakes, but they were mainly just like completely different versions of a game released on a different piece of hardware. More so than a remake before that. But that was like the first time I can recall a game just being, you'll advertise like, hey, this is the definitive remake of the game. Have you been streaming since yesterday? No, I just started, I stopped yesterday's stream around 1 a.m. And today's stream just started uh, about an hour ago. I would have made much, much more progress than this if I've been streaming for 24 hours. I'd feel ashamed if this is my progress after 24 hours. Good. The glowy crystal has been analyzed. Hadley will be pleased. <laughs> game would have crashed and would have been set back by 48 hours. Well, there are autosaves for that very reason. How does it accelerate up the vine? They grind now, they do. This breed of chocobo, though, does. Other breeds, not so much. What is this? This is the observation tower. I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to reaching Cosmo Canyon, but I'm also kind of dreading how big Cosmo Canyon is likely to be. <laughs> What we have up here? Anything? Mm. 
Nintendo. I left yesterday halfway through the live stream. He was in Gongaga. When I started watching today, he was still in Gongaga, so you didn't miss much. Uh, well, we did a lot yesterday. We this we did like the first half of Gongaga. This is the second half. Good. Cosmo Canyon actually had one of my favorite songs. Well, yeah, had just about everyone's favorite song. You also spend a lot of time there, so it kind of like got drilled into your head. I didn't expect, like, Gungaga to just be, like, South American jungle full of, like, Mayan ruins. I guess that's the best they could come up with for the fit. Uh, hmm. What is this, what is this by the way? I'm interested. I must know who these people were. What's been happening since yesterday? Well, we've only... We're trying to make our way to Sid, but we're also exploring Gungaga a bit more before we get to him and then we're gonna head off to Cosmo Canyon but first the Aztec jungle <laughs> You're multitasking. Got into this stream and on my phone I have Doug Doug's Mario Party stream with Obama I'm sorry, what? Ob the Obama is playing a video game? <laughs> or is it just someone going by his name? Can you give me a short summary of Final Fantasy? I don't know a whole lot about it. Oh, that's the good thing. You don't need to know the entire series, because each game is its own contained story. So just because there's a big scary number like 7 on it, doesn't mean you need to know anything about the previous 6, because you don't. They're all unique individual stories and individual worlds. This game is was a very important is a remake of a very important game for them. This is the first like sci-fi almost Final Fantasy game. Uh, but it deals with your know, your know, evil power company. I know it doesn't sound it sounds weird. Who runs the world? Who's sucking the life force out of a planet to like power their electronics? And there's like hot evil anime dude who also wants to destroy the planet because his uh, mother is the thing is John Carpenter's the thing. And he was a super soul. You know, when you try to explain the plot of Final Fantasy VII, it sounds really dumb, doesn't it? It's almost impossible to explain it in a way that makes it sound, yo, well, this is stupid. But they're just cool RPGs, how about that? dolls. I just realized how close I am to death. Hot anime dude equals Reno. Everyone in this game is a hot anime person. We talked about it. Everybody. 
Mario Life. You know nothing about Final You know what? No one truly knows anything about Final Fantasy. Confusing mess. That's the way we like it, God damn it. Uh, okay, to get up there, you gotta ride the plants. I think, yeah, you gotta ride the plants. FF13 is a bad game. Hey, if you, that's, if you know anything about that, then you know enough. And I feel like you also probably dislike... Yeah, I, I famously... I guess you could say famously dislike Final Fantasy XIII. Bad game, as you said. Oh, get off the bird. Chad, what would you do if a Final Fantasy game actually had horses in it? Instead of a big chunk of most. I mean, I asked like, like, what would you do? Would you protest? This is this this blasphemy. You made six videos shitting on thirteen series. Five. One, two, three for thirteen. Then thirteen, two, and three. Let's, let's throw a cushion down, then suck it up into our ass. Because these things disappear after one use. Does the crazy horse from FF1 count? I actually don't know much about FF1 beyond the old, the old plain strangers of paradise. Has there been a fantasy game that has a hybrid horse dragon? A horse dragon? I don't think so. But that's a pretty decent monster idea. I'll give you that much. Ride the plants. This way? Yeah, this way. But before we go that way, check and run. You never know what you'll find in the jungle, Jack. Never know what bounty the Lord will give. You know a game lets you race seahorses? Yeah, well, I know a game that lets you put your music CDs into the PlayStation 1 and it turns them into monsters for you. It wasn't very good, but it was a novel idea. I, I, I may or may not have put my corn CD there and, you know, got something out of it. Advanced technology. Turning your corn music and limb biscuit into monsters that you could then battle. didn't care much for chocobos in FF8. Well, they didn't do anything but ride them. But they also gave me trains to ride in that game. Uh, what are Moogle medals for? They're essentially Moogle NFTs that used to buy stuff from their special store. It's just, another, it's just money. Money, it's only accepted by Moogles. Alright, uh... You know what? 
I guess we'll check out the Mayan ruins here. Welcome to the Hidden Temple. We will start by checking the tomb of the Silver Monkey. Then, crawl into the spider's lair. <laughs> Why has that show now ever been brought back, alright? That's like the best impossible to win kids, yo, yo, game show. I want to see, like, Jin Alpha go on your Legends of the Hidden Temple and fail miserably. <laughs> They're having to bring it back. Well, we'll see if it actually has the same magic, though. And also, if they'll make it nearly impossible to win. That was kind of the appeal, like, just seeing, like, only one out of every ten kids, like, ever actually managing to, like, complete the temple. <laughs> it's like, if watching children fail, chat, is amusing, you gotta admit. there's an appeal to it like there's a kid that just learned about reality Best part of ever 13 was seeing lightning lightning slap. Well, everyone usually got a you know, had a turn to punching snow. It's kind of like the meme I went over the entire video. He was just detestable. If I know more about any of the updates for Resident Evil, I will let you know uh, because the person I never I follow never been wrong before. Anyway, we'll see. I can always get things wrong. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Let me follow this bird real quick. Even am I now? I went from like an ancient Aztec ruin to now there's like an industrial setting. Okay, I'm assuming that kind of leads over. Oh, okay, that leads into the airfield. I don't need to go there just yet. By the way, sad news chat, I found out that my footage I recorded for Tomb Raider didn't record for some reason. I tried to take a look at it the other day and it's like, oh, there's it just took like an, a screenshot of it and then didn't record. It's like a video file that's like two seconds long every single time. There must have been something up with that game and the way it was designed that didn't really work with my recording software. Fuck man, I mean, I can always replay it. I do it off stream though, I wouldn't subject everyone to me failing again. <laughs> You know, I guess because Goongaga didn't have its own, like, unique music in the original game, they were allowed to just do whatever they wanted for the music this time for Goongaga. So they went with this stuff. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching uh, you and Tomb Raider in 3. Yeah, I'll eventually play those. We're in dangerous territory now. Mutant Grand Horn detected nearby. Commencing guidance protocol. The reactor disaster had a profound influence on the local ecosystem. Including this particular breed, prolonged exposure to Mako has reduced their impulse control. Unlike most Grand Horns, this variant lacks a sense of community, invading and upending territory belonging to others. The long-term effects of Mako poisoning on both flora and fauna are still not fully understood, but the world needs to know. 
Now we'll save Jet. Forgetting I have this stupid sword on that doesn't have my my freaking sensor material on it. Shit. Oh, it seems like you gotta hit it while it's spinning. that shit I mean also uh, 199 super chat from Steven Choza will you make a Paper Mario the thousand year door remake sin video Oof, I don't know I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the Paper Mario games but I do know they usually have a they're mainly kind of humorous and I mentioned before that comedy games are really almost like immune to your sin videos because they don't really expect to be expected to be taken seriously. How do I get cloud free? free. Well, actually, he's not. Oh, now I'm dead. Well, how, well, how do you avoid that? It's a cutscene. It's not game over if you get caught in this, so what do you do? Pretty sure if I'd gotten him, like, staggered, I would have won. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a way out of the crystal. Finally, if you want game sins for Nintendo games, you should watch Nathaniel Brandy's Triggered series. You got fucked up. Thank you for the battle report. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Did it just see 999 damage? Yep. Thing is that I can't attack the crystal either to break it open, which is what you would think. It's just if you get caught in the crystal, you're dead. Ecosystem. Bring it home. Ready. Prolonged exposure to Rocco has reduced air impulse 
Let's do this. Unlike most Pokemons, this variant lacks a sense of community, creating an upending territory belonging to the Earth. The long term effects of Mako Pokemon are both flora and fauna are still not fully understood. The world needs to know. See, if he does this, you're just screwed because you can't get away from it. And you're just stuck in it for the rest of the fight. What are you supposed to do? these yourself? Come on. Nope. Come on. It, okay, you stagger him, that's all. Summon now. I gotta heal first. After you. Yes, it's my turn. But I get crashed on a side quest. Oh, someone's recounting my legend. My dude's bigger. Titan would finish up. I gotta heal. There we go. Finish with Titan. Did you ever do the side quest for Barrett? I've done every side quest except one so far. Cool. You know what? I don't care about getting all three of them there. No, no, you come here and do it yourself, Mai. That was good, but do you want to, like, do it in, like, a minute and 30 seconds, Cloud? It'd be great if you could. Did you come in on the weekend and kill this monster in, like, a minute and 30 seconds? I'm coming on the weekend. Uh, okay, moving on. GG, thank you, chat.
Okay, there needs to be some lore for these ruins because I'm interested and I'm not getting any. There's like an ancient city here and the only ancients I know of in this world are, you know, the ancients. is the only thing to fight here. Speaking of like ancient South American ruins, how many of you ever how many of you ever have seen this movie uh The Firewalker? It was uh actually uh one of my childhood favorite movies. Play it stars an actor you may know of. You know the you know Chuck Norris back when he was a big deal. Uh, like, I was a teeny tiny little kid when I'd see it come on, like, you know, TV, I'd watch it. But it was like, it was essentially Chuck Norris if he were Indiana Jones, so it was a really dumb movie, but as a kid, I ate that shit up. I was like, I'm watching this every time it comes on. Want some lore? I'll give you lore, the tribe of the Ganaka Maka Maka Faka Faka Fuckface sacrifices virgins here every Tuesday. It's not lore if it's modern. They're still doing it, you know. Never heard of it. I know of Firewalkers from another video game. Uh, well, just look up Chuck Norris Firewalker. I think it's called Firewalker. And uh, you know what? It is actually a pretty decent little adventure movie for what it is. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's entertaining. If you ever wanted to see, like, Chuck Norris roundhouse kick a big Indian guy, Native American guy, onto, like, a sacrificial, you know, Mayan slab at the end of it, that's your movie. Chad, I, I, I was weak to martial arts movies as a kid, alright? I just was. Movie never existed, you were in that coma. Oh, yeah, I'm, this is one of those things where, like, it's one of those movies that didn't exist, but a certain subset of people clearly have memories of it. It's like a Berenstein Bears effect. Like, what are you talking about, Dario? You're in the wrong universe. That didn't exist, this one. Instead, we got Yo Jean Claude Van Damme's Firewalker, or F Fire Sprinter. What you, but that's all we got. Am I saying that Chuck Norris gave me my first hard on? What? No. Never. I'm not into dudes with mustaches, alright? Or dudes in general, but specifically dudes with mustaches. This is a pretty, like, impressive area of the game to build and really have nothing to- you just walk through it. Love the music, yeah. It's like very different. It's this is not what you would if I heard this outside the game and someone said it's from Final Fantasy 7, I would not have believed them because it does not have that what you would think of as FF7 music feel to it. But as I said earlier, because Gungaga didn't have music of its own, I guess they were had like free range to do whatever they wanted with this region. this thing. Weeb Lion King music. Well, Lion King is already weeb because it's based off a Japanese manga.
Ever seen Sidekicks with Chuck Norris? Yes, that movie's terrible, though. <laughs> I remember being excited for it. It was like, and then I watched it. I was like, wow, this movie's bad. In my squeaky little, like, child voice. It's like a kid. The entire movie is like just some kid fantasizing about Chuck Norris. <laughs> Like being like be basically pretending he's Chuck Norris's best friend, and then eventually ends up meeting him at a karate tournament. What these boxes ever do to us, they contain things that help us, therefore they must be destroyed. What is a box's purpose other than to be opened in some kind of violent way? was Barry. And I, I, mem I remember he had asthma. I just remember the entire movie concept was like weird and like pointless. It's like a cheaper version of La Arnold Schwarzenegger's last action hero. It's like, what if I had a movie that was there to like, you know, puff me up is like bigger than I am. How many in real life wooden boxes have you seen? You think I've kept count of that? How many slices of bread have you eaten in your life? I'll wait. the Goonies. I love the Goonies. One of my all-time favorites. Yes. Okay, we gotta climb up the rope. By the way, that, that slices of bread joke was a JoJo reference. In case you didn't catch it. Disney finally killed The Simpsons? What? First of all, Disney owned The Simpsons? Second off, they killed it? They're like, you, 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 they get in a final season? This needs to be, this needs actual confirmation, alright? Disney bought Fox when they bought Fox. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that happened. I mean, it, I mean, it, though, is it ending? I mean, big news if so. That's like kind of a cultural event. It just be okay. That's the wrong language to use then. If it's just saying it's bad. I'm beginning to think they will never cancel the old Simpsons as long as the majority of the voice actors in it are alive. Ooh, circle X, circle, circle, square, circle. Alright. Circle X, circle, circle, square, circle. Circle X, circle, circle, square, circle. This is a weird one. Alright.
We can now get Kujata. Fallout 76, really? I mean, hey, play what you want to play, but is there a particular? I'm guessing you enjoy it, but hey, more power to you. Uh, all right, that. Let's see, we need to make our way down toward this now. Uh, just because, why don't you take big mushroom jumps? We're gonna jump off this thing. <laughs> Good. Then fast travel over here, and then we can run over there. Win plot? Mm -hmm. When I decide to go after Sid. Fast travel is currently unavailable, but why? AI is an acronym, actually. Well, yes. But uh, to answer your question, we'll get, we'll be doing plot tonight. We want to like do whatever Sid wants us to do, and then we're gonna head to you know Cosmo Canyon. But since we're here, I wanted to do side quests, and I only really have this proto quest to do now. So as long as we get that done, we'll be heading off to Sid. That way. It's that way. Shinra is Blackrock. Shinra is like Blackrock plus a few other different companies. They're like Bla they're like Blackrock, OpenAI, Microsoft, Amazon, and uh, American Electric Power all rolled into one. I guess they're more like a. I've always felt like Shinra is meant to be like an anti-nuclear power message, so maybe they're like a nuclear power company. This is before, this is after the Gongaga reactor. We did that last night. Did we see Tifa and uh, Cloud almost kiss? We did. It was very romantic. And then they got cock locked. chat get yourselves a chocobo that looks at you like that <laughs> with love in its eyes that ain't love that's horniness oh come on now don't horny the bird all right do not horny the chicken. That world looks too clean for a dying planet. Well, not every part of the planet is dying. Like the entire ocean, like you know, eh. it's not hard to kill the ocean, you know. Jacked. No one asked for you to be in, in you know, interject yourself in this con this conversation. By the way, the Jack emote is available on YouTube now as well. It's basically the lolly emote for any time, like... Well, you know what a lolly emote's used for. Why am I trying to explain it? It's pretty much... I think my Twitch chat's one of their favorite emotes. 
Because, hey, you gotta use it to laugh at me. And also, there's no better troll in Final Fantasy or in most video games than Jack himself. The guy who was so dedicated to trolling, he trolled his own son into, like, severe emotional issues. How do you use it? You can only use it if you're a member, unfortunately. I wish I could, you know, change that otherwise. Uh, but it's for, like, you know, YouTube members. And on Twitch, we also have the ability to, like, play sound effects. I'm pretty sure I can do that on YouTube as well. I just haven't looked into how to set it up. I think it has to be, like, tied to Super Chats or something. Looks like we're going over there, but before I do real quick, what's up here? Nothing. Money, yeah, sadly. But hey, no worries. It's just an emote at the end of the day. Jack Garland is an even bigger... I don't really feel that Jack Garland is a troll, he's just annoyed. He's like, hurry the fuck up and stop talking because you're a villain. I didn't give you permission. Trolling is different from just being, like, annoyed by everything. Uh, the grotto. Grot in the grotto. Jack got trolled. Uh, technically, but the, the, the plot of that game was weird and stupid. I know, it's... it's uh, I guess they had, they were they had to work within the confines of the original game's plot, but wow, was it a mess! Read the full comment, Dark. Uh, what? Uh, Jack Garland is an even bigger troll. Dude makes silver twink hero wait two thousand years before fighting him again. Uh, like I said I still think that's a troll. He like literally had no choice but to do that. It was all part of the plan, you know. He wanted it to lose. Does actually have one wing, or is that just a cool thing? No, he actually has just one angel wing. It's just like one of those design things that Nomura settled upon. Finally, though, his final form in Final Fantasy VII, he had, like, six or seven wings, I think. Uh, only in the later years did he only have the one one wing. Starting in Kingdom Hearts, I think. Gaga region is officially too large. Good news, Cloud. I've unearthed information about a particularly rare monster. Deep in the forest lurks a fiend so foul. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. So foul, the mere mention of it induces nausea. Marble this tentacle, noxious huh? pest may be negatively impacting the biome. I suggest you expedite its removal. You just want me to go kill a Marlboro tentacle like that easily? Hmm? Yeah, that's where I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right where I thought it would be, but I... Let's see. Village of Gungog lies at the heart of the human jungle. Ancient times, Gungog was settled by the... Oh, Gungaga was settled by the descendants of the Sentra, who lived in quiet seclusion. The region was largely ignored by later kingdoms and empires until the Republic of Junon thought to expand its influence westward. They soon discovered, though, that the expanse of established trade routes... With such dense jungle far away the benefits of reaching the small communities there and elected to instead construct an airship and little else. An airstrip. When war erupted between the Republic and Shinra people, the world over were impacted to varying degrees. Those in Gongaga were the rare exception, as being so far removed from the theater of war meant that they were not subject to be forced conscription, nor were their villages ever host to the bloodshed.
Hmm. The cigarette tentacle? I mean, you might as well call it that. It does, like, have a technique called bad breath. Actually, I'm going to wager that Sid doesn't smoke in this game. Because Japan has a lot of, like, really strict anti-smoking laws in media these days. Hmm. Okay, you don't get over there from here. I'm guessing you can only get to this place by coming over from this direction. Alright. Okay. I see your game. Uh, you guys want to fight the Marlboro first, though? Since we're here. Let's heal up first. Doesn't smoke, swear, or emotionally abuse those around closest to him. I gotta feel, uh, like I said, I have not met Sid in the game yet. I'm only going by what brief scenes I've seen in trailers. I get the feeling they're gonna, they're changing some stuff around for Sid, and then maybe in the third game he will be bitter because of something that happens to him. Maybe. Uh, okay. I, I'm not. I can't take this team into the fight with uh, a Marlboro. I guess which I need Aerith. Wrong button. Uh, let's go with Aerith. Yeah, Bear will also be good. What's up, Lucky? How you doing tonight? Uh, Dardigan's video on Stranger of Paradise, he actually thought Jack had Princess Sarah listening to Limp Biscuit in that flashback, and Sarah was going to adapt it. I mean, why not? That music was Yo Ken. <laughs> and I think she did have... I think he did let her listen to it at one point. She missed perhaps... He perhaps changed that entire world's music taste by playing them Limp Biscuit. Because you can't listen to chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water more than once before your culture is destroyed and like irrevocably changed. The Sultan of Stench. This is it, Cloud. We've arrived at the Great Marlboro's domain. As I'm sure you've surmised from the aroma, olfactory risk level high. All right. Did FF16 have a Sid? Uh, yes, yeah, Sid was a very important character in 16. Everyone had the hot swarm. All right, <clears throat> prepare to be rocked. I can't listen to you right now, girl. You'll mind. Bigger and more important things to deal with. So it's 
Sweet and sour salvo. Use on staggered foes to increase potency and extend stagger. Uh, we'll, we'll save that then. seen this one yet this is a good one by the way i think if it's what i think it is uh baron baron Aerith strike of pose like yeah i was down with that uh let's see are being healed, Barrett is being injured, so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh... Oh, it's because I have that lifesaver ability on Barrett right now. Saving my ass. That's why. I forgot about that. In return, let's save his ass. Marlboro was actually pretty easy. I think I might have lucked out though with using the lifesaver move. Side quest, all good. That was a shiny Marlboro dart, and you think, well, I could, I didn't have a Pokeball to capture it. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, we haven't got the thing yet. The let whatever this is, we get to make it into <clears throat> whatever though. Japan, sun in Japan, sunglasses. If you are either blind, Yakuza, or Charles, be sure you can wear them anywhere, but or by anyone. But you know what? I'm not an expert. All right, we need to head over this way to reach the Proto Relic quest line. Uh, so where are we going? I'll head here and I'll grab these two towers on the way. Yeah, seems like a plan. What about the creator of Dead or Alive? Oh yeah, I, I don't think he makes games anymore. 
I think he got kicked out of Team Ninja. And then he made some shitty game for the Wii about this bald guy who plays drums. And that was like the end of his career. Gun Gaga, I like you, but man, you were hard to get around. Oh, we'll grab this tower. You left since he really hates who bought Team Ninja. I just know that I, I'm the, uh, that he's not with them anymore, and he made his own studio, and he made some just phenomenally crappy Wii game. Uh, I forget what it was even called, but it was like panned all over the place. Alright, so I'm assuming use the mushroom beat over on that one. Been out since DOA 4. Hasn't isn't DOA itself kind of like dead? trouble figuring out how to get over there. And there's like a thing over there, but we got a Moogle house. Oh god. I like this region, but getting around it is starting to get a little pissing annoying. DOA 6 killed it. Did do that badly? I guess they didn't have, like, enough pedo bait in it. Please bring back all the mooglets for me, Koopo. Jobbed hard since they were banking on the DLC. The clock- Oh, you, they finally gave you a time limit for these. Mooglets are more mischievous than ever. Return them all to the Mog Stool before time runs out. not worth it to activate a store. <laughs> Yeah, I've never wanted Sephiroth to show up harder and just cut their heads off. Yes, Koopo. I'd like to play again. Get in the tornado, you stupid thing. Oh. Chad, there's nothing that annoys me more than when something cute is kicking my ass.
shit, no! Couldn't dodge in time. Oh. This is why you like the Toon Monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Isn't that card banned, though? Flying fucking destructo discs at me. No, no, no. Get these damn things. Oh. This one I can get the step in a tornado. It'd be a lot easier. Now's your chance, Claude. Throttle its neck. Okay, I got two more hits. Oh! Stop throw flinging this shit at me! No! Oh, that's horse shit. They all like team up on you at the end. Okay, we gotta get this one first. He's like the hardest to get. Lower the difficulty, four hill. Yes, I don't give a shit. This is annoying as piss. I just get a store out of it anyways. It's making me hate Moogles. Is that what you want, Square? You want me hating these things? gun. I, well, I have a big sword, but he won't use it.
life is pain. Poopo. Banana peel. Oh. I want him dead, Chet. I want him all fucking. I want to fricassee them. Koopa, your moglin meat. Good eating. This one is like OP. We gotta get rid of him. No, don't you dare. And he's dabbing on me. Get in there. Oh. Thanks so much. There's still like two more of those Moogle houses to complete as well. Thank you so much for gathering all the Mooglets, Koopo. After Mog and Mag established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when, there's seven children. They're just a mom and pop shop chat. would take a page out of their book. You get it, go go. I do. Please shop to your heart's content, Koopo. What do you have to sell me? Uh way of the fist. Fortunes untold. This is really all you can buy out of it is these books. Level boost material, I've got three of those. gonna head to the proto relic quest now <laughs> weigh the fist like those magazines and ff8 sort of but instead of teaching you limit breaks they give you they they give you points that you spend in your folio which is more like a sphere grid from final fantasy 10 You got a funny hat on? What kind of hat did you wear? Mm. This way, right? No, this is actually where does this lead? Exploring Gun Gaga, I've come across a couple of what look like giant cement bunkers that I can't really get into. Apparently there's not really much in them. I guess this one is a bit more, though. We'll hold off. Are there numerous Mog Houses? There's one Mog House per region. Chad, make sure I don't miss anything. 
song has a lot of Besaid. Yeah, I've said before, Gungaga feels very much like Besaid at times. Which I wouldn't be surprised if they were inspired. Like, Gungaga was like the one thing that they could like go ham, go in a completely different direction with because it didn't really have much going with it in the original game. It did have its own music vibe. It's just like a destroyed town in a reactor and that was it. So they just, and it was a completely optional too. So they like made it into like a jungle and full on like off grid village and then this stuff. like an old port. like right here oh it's underground oh okay beneath us game about where you become a Turk. Is this like a reference to that? Of course, that's an old-ass mobile game at this point. Welcome to Gungaga Settlement. I will not lie, the chances of your survival are small. Before crisis, yeah, there's something about like there was like an, a, a very extremist avalanche cell that you had to stop because they were going to destroy the world in their own right. <laughs> they tried to assassinate the president of Shinra. You have such a soothing voice. Oh, well, thank you. I've done nothing to deserve it. Simulated enemies. 
Can't be that simple compared to the other proto relic quests. Uh, right before Crisis, first soldier was something else. Complete VR missions as the Turks' various training facilities to extract the encrypted proto relic data contained therein. Each mission will utilize your current. Okay, this one's kind of like lame compared to the other proto relic quests then. <laughs> utilize your current party, so be sure your preparations are in order. This is just doing Chadley's Battle Simulator. I guess not every proto relic quest could be a winner. But maybe they'll mean it's quick too. Attention all units. Engage the monster threat. I didn't realize it was controlling the earth. Uh, uh oh. Fighting ostriches now. We've been fighting ostriches for yo know, many days at this point. Quite a few of them, in fact. Saving my limit break for round three of this. Deal with that. About damn time. Bring it home. Here goes. This one's for you. That's it. Whoops! 
Not exactly what I was thinking of, but you know what? Whatever. Nothing personal. There we go. Inside us all are two ostriches. Is this the place where Raiden fought the Metal Gear race? You know, I still have no idea what that place was in that game. Damn it all. I was sporting the HQ. Very good work today, partner. It is like in the middle of Arsenal Mission Gear, complete. big glowy LED room. There's room for improvement, but you performed adequately. The insurgent leader became radicalized against Shinra following an incident roughly eight years ago. He believes his home was stolen from him. Hi, Dardigan. Big fan of yours. Sure, if you'll see in. this. Well, there you go. I wanted to stop by for one of your streams. Still haven't beat Rebirth, so I won't stay to avoid spoilers. Just wanted to uh, give my support. Ah, well, completely understandable if you don't want spoilers. Uh, but thank you for being a fan and watching my stuff. I'll have a video out for this as soon as I can. It's going to take a while because it's a big game and I haven't finished it yet. Uh, but uh, much appreciated, man. And thanks for showing love. While the image is still quite unstable, we're going to download an ancient added. artifact, by the way, Chet. The has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Can we get it out? Without more data, I can't say for certain. Let's head to the next facility. I'll continue my analysis there. If you ever want to send an adventure game, might I suggest the Gabriel Knight series? The first two are good games, in my opinion. The second one having, uh, well, like I said, if I did do those, the Gabriel Knight games, I do know of them. Those would definitely be classic sins since those came out in the 90s. Uh, as for like adventure games, I considered obviously the most, the one I would consider the most would be something like Grim Fandango. Really uh, since no I feel idea, like that's probably they? like the one I had the most fun doing. Hates them. Uh, there are also two really bizarre, kind of bad but adventure games I've considered sinning for classic sins. Bad. One is Harvester, and the other is people. like the Mystery of the Druids. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. They're why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean, I see where you're coming from. You do, huh? Glad I could be. Just because I, you know what? Every once in a while, sending something that's completely cracked out might be fun. Full throttle. I've actually played full throttle. It's actually it's not a very long game either. From what I recall of it. Right. So, where's the next one at? All the way over there. I think I've actually found that one before. What's this? Commence. Oh, so Tatsu's training. <laughs> no, thank you. He can wait. Day of the Tentacle. Never played that one, but I do know of it. I think there's at least three of these. There might, there's probably going to be like four. That's usually how they go with the proto-relic stuff. But I should be able to finish up proto-relic and then we can head to Gungaga. I mean, not we can leave Gungaga and your head your Cosmo. Full Throttle was amazing. About the only thing I remember from Full Throttle is when you like, uh, you you had to like get a bunch of baby chickens and let them walk across a minefield <laughs> to blow up all the mines so you can walk, you can get across it. It's one of those things like, did I just freaking do that? <laughs> I just do the most fucked up thing imaginable. And the answer is, yeah, you did. You did like sacrifice a bunch of baby chickens so you could cross a minefield. <laughs> How does it feel to be the hero of a video game? I believe there was also something that was cut out of that game. You were supposed to go on like a peyote trip 
but they weren't able to get it in because it was the 90s and it was LucasArts. But that, that idea for a peyote trip ended up inspiring the idea of buying Psychonauts. Alright, over here, what do we got? Land is a beautiful shot. Why wouldn't you want to save it? Deponia was a great series. Too bad uh, the creators made that Ghoulam game. Ghoulam. Uh, the Golem game. Is that the same team? The Deponia? Mark Hamill, boy, yeah, he voices the villain of it. Pretty sure if I want to get up to the stuff on that plateau, then yeah, I need to go over this way. He voices the villain and the old man. You know, it's kind of a shame that Mark Hamill's bag got so messed up he couldn't physically act much anymore, and he had to like resort only. Not that he was like gave anything bad from when it came to being a voice actor. It's like some really great roles, but I kind of wish he would have been in more actual movies before he had to like stop that. Because he actually was a really good actor too. And like physical actor, I mean. He had great timing. Using layout, I gotta be careful here before I make my decision. Looks like. Hmm. All right, we'll take the only mushroom we're offered. Now, if you gain this area is annoying, it's a little confusing because it's multi tiered. Man, they really need to fix this HDR. It's getting kind of annoying when I walk into a shadowed area and I can't see anything. That's probably the one I jump on next, but let me check around real quick. another way up I think from like the ruins yeah yeah okay actually, actually how many total hours do you think this game is uh judging a mic I've got over 60 hours in it so I'll probably be like by the time I finish it around 100 hours more than likely Oh, for fuck. Oh, All right. That wasn't the way to go. Those are confusing because you think it's going to launch you over to where you want to go and it like plops you right in the middle of some water. You can't make yourself like fly any fa faster when you're on. Hmm.
Like, what's the point of this one? Is it just to get you off it? Like, I need to get over to that platform. No, fly further. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, it ain't worth it. Shroom traveling. You know what? Shroom traveling is confusing, chat. Pretty sure... Here we go. Maybe this way. I like being able to climb up walls with the other, the, you know, the Junon Chocobo. This one's a bit, uh, well, as you can tell, mushrooms ain't exactly as, like, a, you know, easy to figure out. Depends on the scene. Uh, the actors and the style of the film holistically, like the Asian fight Korean influence on prequels, uh, was just as legit as the European fight. Oh, are you talking about the Star Wars lightsaber battles? First-generation Mako reactors based on the one built in Nibiru are prone to malfunction due to flaws in the pressurization system designed this. However, did not deter Shinra from installing one of variant. The company's failure to follow on their own inspection and maintenance. This accident was not an isolated occurrence. Uh, Dardigan Goat asked me to I prefer a simple or flashy. I think there's room for both. You can have like a bit, I think a touch of flash, even when you're going for a more simplistic approach is still fine. There are definitely like moments in like the prequels lightsaber stuff that just look downright goofy, especially the fight, the final battle between, you know, Anakin and Obi-Wan when they're just twirling the lightsabers around themselves before finally like hitting them against each other. It's like it's done to, it kind of, it's trying a little hard, to, too hard to be flashy rather than just like, this is like incompetent sword fighting at that point more than anything else. Uh, but there's also some times where the flash is really nice. Like the Darth, I don't, I don't know of anyone who doesn't like the Darth Maul and Obi-Wan fight as well. Like, that's, like, legendarily good. Uh, also, Super Tramp. Thank you for the $5 Super Chat. You're out. Take care. Have a good night, man. Sorry you can't stay longer. We will, we will miss your presence. This should get me over to that tower at the very least. See, inconsistent mushroom travel chat. You don't know how far they're going to take you.
Really? You prefer this or FF16 as the direct, uh, direction? Uh, this by far and away. I like 16, but this I just prefer more, way more. Like I mentioned in my video, I thought 16 felt awfully lonely for a Final Fantasy game since it's not about being a part of a party. It's all about the old Clive. And while I like Clive and I like his combat, it just, I don't know, it lost something and it felt like a very different kind of game. So I much prefer, if they're going to go with the action route, do this. Though this might be more expensive, I don't know. Did Todd Howard, uh with Hideo Kojima. I don't think they would... I think they have conflicting design goals, all right? Todd Howard and Kojumbo. Don't know how well that would work. They'd probably just make a mess. You know, I liked at the beginning when these towers were just very simple, and they've been... I don't like that they've been making them more pain in the ass. I don't think this one's even going to reveal anything to me because I've done everything around it. But I still got to do it. Well, no. Okay, never mind. It did show me things. Todd Howard only really did two games. One was Red Guard Adventure and the other was Oblivion. I mean, wait. He did Skyrim as well. And I'm pretty sure he actually was involved with Morrowind. And he also did a Terminator game. Don't forget that. But I'm assuming you're talking about post, like, Skyrim and everything else. Alright, uh... Hmm. Okay, we are headed all the way up here. Alright, simple enough. You're almost dead? Well, hey, I'm about to, like, sit myself on a cushion. No, no, stop getting on the trunk boat. I want to get in the seat. You groaned at the Ubisoft style flowers when I got to the first one. Mm. This game feels like Final Fantasy Tears of the Kingdom. That, that has been inspiring a lot, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got to no. I think it would be quicker if we fast travel up here and go to it. Or maybe not. Uh, actually, yeah, I think we just go across here and we're there. Let's go jump on a mushroom. What's up, Letson? Currently making a Jeopardy game and hiding minimum midterm questions on it for activity for you. You know what? You're going to make a great teacher one day if you keep this up. I can sense it. That's some effort right there. If you're trying to become a teacher, that is. Don't want to put that pressure on you.
you don't do it. Don't, no, don't sacrifice yourself. Towers were the were tiny until they became another check bog. Yeah, they. Uh, there are elements of this game that I are a little starting to grind. The open world nature is still pretty good in this game, but there are like moments where I'm like, really, does it need to have this much going on? Uh, but then again, it is all optional. I'm choosing to do it. Going to English teaching, going to spend a lifetime getting paid nothing for the satisfaction of helping people. You know, I almost went with a, if I had gone to college, it probably would have been the English lit or history degree. I would have been right there with you. all the damage teaching and uv pays teachers properly at least i work with college students mostly and yeah they're all pretty wonderful so far had one or two kids lash out not just because they were under a lot of pressure nothing a nice cup of tea and a good conversation could fix you know you're gonna be one of those like really cool anime guy teachers who's like yo the, the kids end up loving English and history teachers are some of the nicest and strangest people I've come across in school. Some, most of the time, I can, I, I had, I don't know, I had, I had a couple of like really rough English teachers. Nay, I bet Dardigan would be a, a, a sports teacher. I, what sport do you think I'd be teaching? Because I don't sport. I just wanted you to know, sport is not something I've ever been into. I didn't even like gym class. Are we going to become a full-fledged Turk after this? Now then, you know, getting an outfit for the team the that's all these, like, Turk outfits wouldn't be bad, actually. Uh, interrogate him. Correct. Considering what we know of the situation, it seems unlikely that Am I playing this in graphics or performance? Graphics because performance is still busted. Which leads Looks too blurry. I'd rather be playing at 60 frames per second, though. Ooh. What? Why? Was that an actor in your simulation, though? The details. A productive interrogation revealed to us the truth. The attack on Calm was only intended to be a diversion, one which drew us away from their real target, Junon's weapon system. Suffice it to say, their plan worked. Consequently. They have seized control of our autonomous... I am pretty certain this is now recounting the events of that Turk game. Uh, you had a history teacher that let us play Age of Empires 2. You know what? That kind of counts when you think about it. I wish I, I... I had a few... There was a few classes I had that had computers and we get to do stuff like that. It is a core tenet of Turk's doctrine that one must anticipate and prepare for... Interrogate him, kills him instead, yeah. well... Never caught the bullet did ask his brain sure. a question. <laughs> All right. Initiating training mission. 
Let's go in. Enemy unit sighted. They know you're coming. Okay, Elena was just made a Turk recently. How sh would she be in this old ass abandoned like research facilities computer? I'm gonna switch out this sword soon because I hate how few material slots it has. Alright, we're switching to Barrett for this fight. Stop asking questions, you're supposed to just love Alina, but it doesn't make any sense, and that's what I do. What I do, chat. Show you how the trick works. I was cursed, you know, with knowledge of how plants work. What else was I supposed to do in life? They just like, splatter me with like a facial? take notes uh i do i do take notes uh but uh, currently not taking you right now because we're doing side activities but i also watch through all my footage afterward which is where most of the writing actually takes place Little things that are super so annoying. Doing God's work as a tank. Doing God's work, my man. Should put a protect up on you, but I kind of forgot to do that though. You Get back to HQ already. 
Uh, hmm. United focus. Eh, I'd rather do damage right now. But we need Aerith powered up. I've never been able to find this ability useful with the shield. One more shot. All right, uh, let's see. Let's do the sweet and sour salvo again. The guy who shot Ronald Reagan is free and is trying to have music career and host concerts. You know what? Good luck to him. I believe he was like considered insane is the reason he's not in prison, by the way. Speaking of Alina, I don't remember if she was in the in the in the she was in the original. She shows up after you leave Medgar. Game, she's annoying as hell. Well, there was quite a few annoying characters in the original game. They've been doing a lot though to make them better. Remember that we set a high bar. Nothing less than perfection. Thing is, I don't remember if you, I don't think you ever fought seeing him even once in the original game. I think he got taken out somewhere around the Temple of Ancients, you never see him again. I wonder if they'll fix that and have you actually have a fight against the Zing in this game. succeeded in turning assets against us. We must deny them the opportunity. And if we fail, we must rectify the situation. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. Thank you for your excellent work. My analysis is progressing smoothly, but I fear I require more data to arrive at a conclusion. What? We're Maybe you will instead of drink tea? Yet? Hmm, a tea Just drinking minigame, you mean? Why couldn't there be such a thing? What, where? I just suggested the idea. Okay, I know where that is. Talk about a pain in the butt. That combat simulator thingy of theirs is supposed to be able to do anything, right? Why do they need more than one? Previously, each unit had a facility reserved for them alone. But as an energy saving measure, they can now only be used one at a time and in order. One at a time? Cheapskates. I'm beginning to think this Mako energy chat isn't exactly energy dense. Alright, next one is all the way back up this way. Seeing is very bland. Ah, he's a professional. Sometimes professional comes off as bland because they don't want to draw attention to themselves. I'm considered bland, you know. <laughs> Some by some people. Just got out of class, but I still got, uh, hey, uh, I'll be back when I'm high. No worries, man. No worries. Drive safe. Gotta be locked in. There's that new phrase everyone's using again. Lock in mates. Fine game. 
Uh, when was the last save you made? Well, it's auto-saving, like, right now, whenever I move around, you realize. But I was, like, before the last fight I just did in the training room. Wait, you only... Hold up again, this doesn't make any sense. This is an old-ass abandoned research facility, but this is when Rufus is president. Which just happened again. Yeah, he even called him president. Yeah, this is, this is breaking all sorts of, like, bullshit. And it makes no sense! Well, whatever. It's a side quest. Maybe they were just predicting in the future, and they like when they made these these simulations years ago. They did this training stuff fairly recently. This is like an abandoned research place. Like, literally, Rufus only became president the other day. Vanguards There's simply no position. way they set all this up and then didn't use any of it. You're so lost. Well, this is all side quest stuff, so you don't really matter if you're lost. This is all for the proto relic things. I've got one more of these training things to do after I finish this one. This message was recorded the future of the past. They just predicted he would become president at that age. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. No, Clyde is actually still alive. He's just barely alive. Can this cure go off before he dies? Look at how much these things like to stun you. 
Oh no, Claude's dead. I just realized that I could... Save this energy ability. We got one more fight coming up here. Suggest that maybe the training places are all networked with a mainframe. I mean, that'd be the only way you could actually explain it. Seems weird to prioritize that ahead of everything else they're currently working on, though. Those guys mean business. We have a time limit. Just try to hang on till then, okay? Uh, Arcane Blast. Mm. You're at the slug race. They annoy me. Good job, Cloud. You missed. like to yell a lot, don't they? Allow the present to be a what? What? So you have to kill all the oh god damn it. This game and its little bit of time limits is starting to piss me off. Time limit? I know, but still. Time limits are a bad idea, alright? No one likes them. They don't add stress, they just make you annoyed. But then again, the president dying is you know, a good thing here. Enemy vanguards advancing on your position. Be ready to intercept. Take the lead. Yes, it's my turn. Let's get Barrett set up. He's a bit. Yeah. 
Come with it on that safe in Sephiroth's mansion was a pain. Mm. I held them off for as long as I could, but there's just like how you called it Sephiroth's mansion. All yours now. I mean, you might as well consider it his. Too much time in this fight the last time. I need to get this over with. Those guys mean business. We'll get there as fast as we can. Just try to hang on till then, okay? A little bit more time this time. Shit, they're just like taking them apart. Stop putting all my people to sleep. Sorry, I can't reach out right now. I'm, I'm critical. Song bar. All right, you did. It. Sorry for being going quiet. Radio was silent chat. That required concentration. You're alive. And none the worse for wear. It's good being the Turks' as friends for once. This way, Mr. President. You want a remake of FF8? Some people have talked about that, but I think actually the developer of this game said he, if he was asked to do an FF8 remake in this style, he would say no. Too big of a project. Performance. You've earned a bonus. <laughs> Whatever you desire, just ask, and it's yours. Mission complete. Our president is the heart of the company. He cannot be replaced. It is vital that we keep him from harm, even if it costs us our lives. Keep that in mind on future missions. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, yeah, I think there's the one more of these. Station. Then it's off to Sid chat. I have almost everything. 
everything I need to restore the data. All right, then. Let's do it to it. The sooner we finish this thing, the sooner we can show them what we're really capable of. <laughs> Where? Okay, that's okay. That's near said. All right, that is okay. That's nearby. Uh, however, I think I'll actually have to go to Sid's place to get to it, since it has to cut across. Yeah, so we're got to go meet Sid first before we go to that. So let's get to it. Guess we're doing this now. That being said, I need to start a new recording because I have done this one for like three hours. All right, let's let's see what our Sid's like this time, chat. We've been waiting all night. Well, I've been making you wait. Right over here. Gongaga airstrip. So yeah, they they've taken Sid out of Rocket Town, well, I guess. Looks like we found the airstrip, or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. Tea time? See that? Maybe. Oh, a Republic telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. Touch the thing. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane! Follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane! airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke! The smoke. Huh? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be dead. Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> We're gonna use this thing as a boat, chat. This is becoming our boat. Of course he's southern. <clears throat> Not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you you got? Oh, too many. But the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. Oh, that's what a what a bargain. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. 
thousand bucks. Well, well, not yet, but we'll be we'll be flying on your airline in just a minute. This is voiced by J. Michael Tynum. I don't know who that is. Fair enough. Just so you know, there's a cancellation fee if y'all decide to back out last minute. Hundred mil per person. Best think about that. He didn't introduce him as his name yet, by the way. Still question marks. Commander Irwin and Attack on Titan. I've never watched the Attack on Titan anime. Have I read the manga? Oh, look. what a smorgasbord in here. One thousand to fly. Well, he just doesn't want you to cancel. All right, He's wasting his time. Gotta be careful about that when you're an entrepreneur and all. Not a fan of his scarf ascot. Eh, he's a pilot, so I guess that's what they wanted to give him. It's better than giving him aviators or something, I suppose. Which would have been really out of place. In the original game, 1,000 gil is nothing. It's not even much in this game at this point. I've got like tens of thousands on me. There's not really much here. Other than more chests to break. Like, we didn't have anything else to put here, so let them smash stuff. Bronco is free. Uh, oh, yeah, but yeah, you don't get to fly it, though. It's just a boat for you. It's to get shot down by Shinra. All right. All the stuff to break. Let's go to the training facility. Get that out of the way, and then we can take off. I'll do the rest of the stuff in Gungaga offstream. where it's supposed to be at. Let me in. Okay. I'm a bit confused, I'll be honest. Unless I had to come in from behind it somehow? Is the, if this is the case, I do have this. I think, yeah, I think I have to come in from behind it. It's okay, we got this. Dart enjoys coming from behind, you don't? You implying something? Missing out. Go ahead, go have a good night. Man. Any last words? Not bad. I'm assuming I get new limit breaks at some point in this game, right? Than the two that I had in the first game. That would feel weird if I didn't get some new ones.
Uh, this way. You do? You haven't got them? Hmm. Here's hoping you survive. It's been a week and Alina is already a traitor. Well, in, in the video game version, they created a Turk. Shoot to kill just like that. Probably got to be pretty ruthless to make it as a Turk. Hello, what's up, guy? How you doing, man? All right, let's do it. I'm, this is the the reason that boss fight from the caves. It's all right. I should have brought Tifa into this fight because I don't think your brood will actually hit Tifa. Unless they've changed that. What's the content of Drink Your Tea? That was a famous line of SIDS in the OG game. He tried to shut down and drink your goddamn tea. Forces us to do their dirty work. But what do we do? I just Kiraga. Always got a lot of help. I'm at Summon Alexander yet, have I? Duty calls. Feels like a good time to summon him. I know I just 
queued up a heal. I guess he knocked her out of it. Alright, Cloud, you'll have to be the one to heal her. Keep Barret alive. None of these heals are going off on Barret. There they go. Dart, do you know Focus Thrust does the most stagger damage for Cloud? Yeah, but I never use that move. See you soon. Oh, you're dead. I don't always take the most efficient heal form of combat. You gotta do what's fun for you, you know? Now what? One more shot. And this one's for you. It's on. Oh yeah. Point blank range. Thanks. It's your turn. Taking over. Hmm. Sure. Focus for us. Why not? You asked for it. Rude, are you even losing health right now? Good. This game got my P5 overheat and every hour. You know what? I have not had any issue with that. Run pretty well on mine. Maybe you've got a lot of dirt in yours. That can happen, you know. Mission complete. Well done. You've All right, we're done with the proto quest. Born, Turks. Wow, what an honor. You know what? They dress nice there. Don't knock it. Duty may require us to sever our binding ties, which is precisely why. Huh? Who's there? Confirming personnel data. ID GAI one five three. Affiliation, General Affairs, Auditing, Sir, 
certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Took the words right out of my mouth. What in the hell are you doing here? Shinra sent me to inspect the facilities. Wanted to make sure they didn't have any unauthorized visitors wandering around. Wait, you're still a Turk? But she'd like retired. GAI-153? Records indicate the individual with that ID underwent formal training. Wait, are you a Turk? That'll be enough probing. For my benefit. But mainly for yours. Yo, I think he, I think they heard Chadley, you know. It was enough of a pain to cover up the mess you made at the reactor. Try not to cause any more. Isn't trouble, Gangaga okay? considered the middle of nowhere? Sorry. Why would they have their we'll training have thing of all man? Yeah, keep it hidden, anyway, I guess. Anyway, I'm heading back to the village. Once you're done here, I suggest you make tracks. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. Hello? You good? Hey Chadley. What happened to the proto relic? Oh, forgive me. And there. You wouldn't download a proto relic, would you, Cloud? Incredible. It appears that by restoring the fragmented data, we were able to break the proto relic's encryption. Uh, translation? The potential applications are practically limitless. By converting matter into data distributed across a secure network. Shielded from external interference, one could preserve said data indefinitely. So is it real? Like, can I touch it? Oh, of course. I, I feel like this is like I, Behold, stuff from Kingdom the Hearts with the data stuff. Glory. He's gonna create like a your know, data cloud. Night, hey, Garrus, have a good night, man. <laughs> At long last, the knave returns. Hey, is that a buster sword on your back? Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel. My Genji! Chadley? Chadley, can we not go anywhere without you following along? After analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance, I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually. Virtually? Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. Oh, yeah, he did, my. like, hum the, the battle theme in the bridge, didn't he? Finally, someone realized what you're supposed to do with Chadley. Wu Tai, no, this is uh, no, this is a different character. This is not Wu Tai. That is a character that's been in several Final Fantasy games, and it's actually one of the only recurring characters that's legitimately himself. That's Gilgamesh. Did Chadley forget he's a hologram? He's just a coward. That's shameful, Chadley. Chadley, you okay? I believe so, yes. Tell me I didn't dream that shit. Correct. That was no dream, Cloud. You and I were there, together. Wherever there Were they in Wutai? Was, no. That Just is, that, yo, Gilgamesh is, like, very samurai-esque. Look how it looks like you are. <laughs> I sense exasperation. I, however, am emboldened to solve this mystery. I only hope that you will assist me in my quest for answers. All right. Now, sadly, I got to go back to Chadley and buy his, like, really good materia now that I got a bunch of research points. But then we're leaving to uh, Cosmo Canyon. Wait, there's a chest in there probably, right? Yep, almost forgot that.
For a guy called Gilgamesh, a samurai demigod, he looks a lot samurai. Well, it's just the old Final Fantasy, man. They like a name and they use it. So they have a Gilgamesh that's named after a Babylonian king. That's also a samurai. And was in part of a European fantasy universe. All right. Quickly go back to the town, buy Materia, then get on Bronco. How's everyone tonight? I'm pretty good. How'd you, how was your classes, man? Enjoy your stay with us. Cloud, you may now fight Kujata. The phantasmagorical beast of oh, yeah, I gotta do this too. In the but this won't take long. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete Got back from mine recently. So glad they're almost over. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, let's get Kujata. Cloud, Aerith, and you know what? Let's bring Tifa in. I haven't used her tonight. I've gotten too like reliant on Barrett just tanking everything tonight. Mono War, it seems like a good idea. And a barrier too, since he's like a bit mix of both. I don't know how that didn't seem like it hit very much. set up here, would you? Oh.
Oh, oh, oh. That ain't gonna be good. That ain't gonna be good. That ain't gonna be good. Oh. Uh. for the one that survived well not for jesus christ <laughs> okay you definitely gotta have mono ward up for that how did tiva i don't know good question analyzing one's failures can shut up prove i didn't ask you I'm gonna buy your own material here. Increases the potency and duration of spells with the link material, huh? Limit siphon. Synergy increases synergy by one when your party members use a synergy ability during battle. Okay. Uh, I might buy another one of these. Right, we'll we'll get the summon some other time. I, I actually just want to get to Cosmo Canyon now, alright? We've been waiting too long. So many fascinating possibilities. We can fight Yo Kujana anywhere. This hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Great work getting that shot. You really are one shrewd shutterbug. To quote the association, your talents are inimitable. You've got Can I get a secret? I don't even take photos when I go to these spots this guy recommends. Want to hear the great Cosmo? Ca yeah, I've been wanting to hear it <laughs> since the game got announced. And Chadley is just standing in my way. He's like, don't you want to like do my things, Cloud? Don't you want to do my field activities? Sure my baby's balanced just so put the fire out eh, it's on an airport runway where's it gonna spread to and it's a jungle those are very damp and humid hold on tight now you hear fall out you're on your own because... <laughs> Here we go. why is she excited she's gonna bomb all over the place bad things to him <laughs> you are truly a model soldier my boy Roche no you don't take don't take the juice <laughs> I'd hold still if I were you we wouldn't want any complications no professor <laughs> since you're so committed I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Hmm. 
months, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. You know, I bet it's fun to be Hojo. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Crimes against humanity? Oh, Genova flesh. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> Okay, if your dude next to you, the doctor is laughing like that, maybe leave. Just saying. Okay, you take the most suicidal route into Cosmo Canyon instead of flying over the canyon. Makes sense. Evil laugh. Evil laugh, chat. They're good for getting you know, cleaning out the soul. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh shit. Uh -oh. What? So this is probably how they're going to do the when you get the high wind. Not in here. Maybe. Hey, Sid. Yeah? You're not worried about flying around in the open like this? What if so I can fly with the controller. The shit, Maybe we can make Yuffie sick. <laughs> I think you and me are going to get along just fine. We're getting pretty close. Why are we in Arizona? That's what Cosmo yep. Canyon is. Bring it or down. I look like darting into me. Mm. I've been seeing myself in a lot of games recently. <laughs> Get that girl some drama, mean. Brought you as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just How does that sure work if you're land. like over the horizon, yo, Sid? <laughs> And how do you know it's a signal fire if it's just one cooking some meat and actually need you to come, you'll know, give them a lift? Radios exist, my man, is all I'm saying. He's got a signal sense. The veil's this way. Inspect the telephone booth at the airstrip to send the smoke signal to call upon the tiny Bronco. Hmm, right place. Is there no material to heal motion sickness? Apparently not. Nope, you're just gonna need like a good old drama mean potion for that one. I think what, uh, white smoke means signal fire and black smoke is like a campfire. Yeah, I, I mean, you can definitely do that, but he still has to be in the immediate area to see it. Like, if he flies back to, like, say, Gungaga, he ain't seeing that signal fire. I'm assuming he's flying from actually, like, Rocket Town, which is above Nibelheim. Which means he definitely ain't seeing any of these signal fires. Unless this is a flat Earth. Which we maybe would explain a few things. Scale of the planet. One thing you have to always keep in mind when it comes to video games is scale can't be one to one. Because it, it can't make a game that big. So you have to like assume that is a this is a full size planet you're exploring.
This way to Cosmo Canyon. planet isn't flat we've seen it now hear me out what you've seen is actually just propaganda given to you by big plan they want you to believe that it's all a sphere but ask yourself have you ever seen have you been up high enough have you ever seen this supposed curve i haven't and i have very good i use binoculars Please stop. Well, you don't like me pretending I'm an idiot? Look, all I'm saying is if the planet were really a sphere, air quotes, and it was like rotating, you could literally just put, get, put yourself up in a hot air balloon and let the planet circle underneath you and arrive on the other side of the planet in a couple days. Within 24 hours, even. Video games, the world is flat. You know, I've always wanted to see, like, the depiction of, like, a flat earth in, like, a, the lore of a video game somewhere and see how that would work. You're pretending? God, I hope so. Desert version of Sahagan, yeah, they got got to reuse a few of those enemy designs. Believe in LOT universe, the world is actually flat for elves, but not for humans. Uh, when it comes to Lord of the Rings, I believe at one point the world was flat, but then after like the gun, uh, the the you know, shit, uh, the Numenorians tried to invade like the Holy Land, or like the the Grey Haven or whatever it's called. Uh, the, the literally the god intervened and reshaped the world and made it into a sphere and then removed the the gray havens uh, from the same spheres as the world so only elves can reach it so it's it's a little complex it's a little vague as well answer me this if we evolved from monkeys why are there still monkeys I know right it's the perfectly logical explanation like you know you can't explain that science. These scientists think they know everything, chat, because they've studied things. I say, listen to your own intuition and what it tells you. Checkmate, atheist. Checkmate. Hmm. Look, listen to your old pal Dardigan. He won't stare you, hear you wrong. You know, you have to wonder why they all hum the same songs when they get on choke when they think of chocobos. It's like the world has chickens and chocobos. True. See, chat, you're smarter than you know, the average you know, media thinks you are. You see, you understand the truth of this world. Technically, I think in the world of FF7, the world is practically hollow. It's not like it's full of magma. It's the life stream here. So maybe not hollow, but you ain't got exactly like your know, molten core. More like a liquidy, like, you know, stuff. I want Chadley to like pop up in the little, you know, phone gun and be like, Cloud, 
Have you? I've discovered this amazing new philosophical scientific theory that the world is in fact hollow, filled with Mako. Can you believe it? Anyways, good luck with the go fighting those monsters I'm sending you after. I think Chadley is probably very gullible and you can get him to believe anything. Seems like he's very bullyable too. Can we not rest here? This looks like a place that the guys from FF15 would have hung out for a bit. Speaking of. How did you even get here, Chadley? We took the only plane. from PBS eons is that the common ancestor of the great apes wasn't a knuckle walker like gorillas and chimpanzees because each great ape walks on their knuckles differently so they think the ancestor walked like a gibbon you know what gibbons are way cooler than chimpanzees anyway so I'll take that I wouldn't be mind being descended from like a, a you know a frog monkey <laughs> oh look at all that that deep amounts of SP vending machine in the middle of the desert Hey, this is how you survive. Alright, so... Increases ATB recharge rate when performing actions. Slightly increases MP regeneration speed. Or increases max HP by 200. We'll get the extra HP. Increases damage dealt to staggered enemies by 3%, or... Uh, yeah, we're definitely want to want this focus attack. I mean, the synergy attack with red 13 in this place. I have to be using red 13 a lot here. <laughs> Actually, I should switch to red 13 being in the party. Why haven't I yet? Uh, let's see. Max HP by 200, reduces magic damage by 5%, increases the duration of inflicted detrimental status effects, and increases ward duration. Okay, her wards last for a long time, so I don't know if I really need that right now. This is Tempest, this is Fire, Ice, Lightning, Wind. Understandable, there was that chimp tribe which hunts baby gorillas. They could be, uh, you know, chimpanzees are like homicidal murder monkeys. They're terrible creatures. <laughs> It's a horrible thing to say, but it's true. They just look cute when they're young. Sixty-nine viewers, go ahead, type it in. You know what you want to say. I'll allow it. There you go. Doesn't it feel good? <laughs>
Also, thank you for the bits, logical. Uh, what is this? Inbigans, Kate's this, Moogle, and launches it at an enemy. Focus. Eh. This is damage. I don't really guard that much. Here's a synergy skill and synergy ability damage by 5%. Increases damage to discrete enemy parts by 5%. Hold on to these points for now. Tifa. Increase limit gauge charge rate by 5% once staggering an enemy. Increase weapon ability damage by 3. Increase MP regeneration or Baron to a home their feet. And let's go with this. What's on time? Uh, what's when you had to ban? What's one of the times you had to ban someone? Uh, generally I've ever had to ban people who are like intentionally trolling. So not that many. Thankfully, not something I've had to do much in my streaming career. I think it's probably been less than a dozen people I've ever had to ban over like 10 years of streaming. And they've all been just intentional trolls who showed up for that very reason. I see you too have come to do a little avian investigation. While most chocobos run on land, the birds around here are capable of taking to the skies. Do you, un do you unlock new and limit breaks in the menu? I haven't got to any yet. Synergy materia. Poison and petrifying materia. Jump materia allows you to leap into the air during battle with jump. Couldn't that be a Sid move? If you're disappearing in the sky for a time, you will drop down to deal damage. Skill master. Slightly fills the ATB gauge when multiple ATB commands are performed. Hmm. Allow an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from Link Materia. Hmm. I look forward to seeing what new It'll definitely be a Sid move in the travels. future. Uh, yeah, I guess it might not have you have that. Well, since you obviously want to carry your Materia from game to game, so maybe they will. I would have been banned if I put the whole B movie script into chat. Well, that'd be very difficult because I'm pretty sure there are like text limits. Uh, but that would definitely make me consider it, since I'd be like a massive wall of text people I'd have to scroll past. At the very least, they'd get the comment deleted instantly. Shawnee, that you? Who's Shawnee? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo jack. And also a bird. was, till she fell off her mount during the race. Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh. Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah, we dabble. Wonderful. In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee. But now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> you want to try it, right? Yo, wait, isn't this supposed to be gold chocobos that can fly, be... not blue? Sure. But first, I think I'll get to the main part of Cosmo jump Canyon tonight. Considering how long it usually takes to get through these sections of the game, probably not. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. She'll guide you through it all with ease. Yeah, this is like the, the chocobo that like cross water, not flight. All right. Uh, 
Chocobo by taking again. You didn't know who the art director for this game is because that black character looked amazing. Uh, I mean, uh, they probably get a lot of outside help in like just figuring things out. Uh, so what is over here? Uh, we gotta capture it. Capture a pony. Like they, <coughs> like, <coughs> oh, when there goes the voice. But like I said, all the characters have been great. <coughs> a pony? No, this is his name. This section is long. Well, first we gotta capture the chocobo. We can at least get that done tonight. <coughs> As you can tell, my voice is starting to crumble. <laughs> Rumble shot. Stop using. Mm, well, no, this sword is starting to level up, so maybe I should keep using it. Mm. <coughs> oh, no. I'm all out of drink. Okay, we need to add Red 13 to the party. Summon, uh, I don't know. I, I want to capture this chocobo with the time I have left. That way, tomorrow we can just be, you know, zooming through this place. And then off stream, I can finish up checking out the Gongaga region. Oh, those are nice. For a second. Talk to that weirdo Chandley. I just did. We've talked to him enough tonight. I don't know why they're calling this a, main, a side quest. This is clearly a main quest you have to do. I don't know. It's a side quest. Don't you see the, the, the little icon screen? For, yeah, I was actually thinking the same thing. They look like basilisks. I will say this about the third game when that happens. They better not have you do all these same activities in the same regions again. Uh, when they have the full open world in that one. I'm assuming though it'll only be like Wutai in the northern continent you explore mainly in that one. So maybe they won't. Or they'll have them like new areas. They gotta have something new. So Since these are already like fully explored areas. They shouldn't really be reusing those moments again. So they'll have to come up with something else to do. And considering one, yeah, they have to, uh, they should honestly they should have some since there'll only be two continents there and there'll be way less to do on each one. Uh, Wu, they should have like unique stuff for each one because Wu, Wu Tai is like Japan. You get like shrines you visit or something. FF7 remake part three. Chandley forgot his research. 
You know what? If they really want to make the story dark, they'll kill Chadley in the third game. Why not? You really want Chandley dead? I mean, I just think it'll work for the story. Look, that's gotta be Apony. understand why I'm pushing this honestly. <laughs> this is just so I can get on the other side and pull it. Yeah, that's probably it. Turn, turn already. No peripheral vision at all, which is strange for birds since, you know, they usually have very good vision. I'm not entirely sure why I need the minecart. Other than, I guess, the hide vine during, like, you know, straight stretches. Adding, yeah, these sections are a little bit of that. Chadley, can you develop an invisibility materia? Chocobos are capable of playing Queen's Blood. I know I beat one of them. That one Did they like die over there? Heat stroke? I gotta use it to distract it because the thing's on the wrong side.
Hit it in the head. No, you don't want to let karma choke a boat. <laughs> Mirror, I can understand. Throw rock. <laughs> Throwing rock. I mean, that technically is what Quake is sort of like. Depending on the game. get a checkpoint <laughs> of all the chocobo stealth missions I've had to do in the game so far this is the kind of the dumbest <laughs> Chocobo. He did not care at all. No. Well. Well, we got a checkpoint. We're good. Let the po let their pony get away. Call oh, yourself a chocobo wrangler? <laughs> Hit it in the head. I mean, I'm gonna like do I'm gonna use violence then. I think you can even you can't even actually target them. Shit. Dumb bird. <laughs> We're not chocobo violence of F sixteen. Well, you didn't really well saw one get hit in the head, but that was it. Saw one get de 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 decapitated. Well, sir, we, we heard about Chocobo Stew, too. Easy, girl. We got you. The birds of the Vale are fearless and can leap from certain ledges to fly across the region's steep chasms. While a chocobac take flight from gliding ranges marked with uh, da 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 and ride the generator generator's air currents. I guess, okay, these ones can't fly under their own power. They can only glide. So maybe the gold ones still will be able to. All right. Just hit me. You don't get sick on chocobac. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my chocobo and I share one mind. Yeah, I was thinking my that exact body, same thing earlier. Uh-huh. Or maybe my body just hates Shinra cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way they to fly now. They've always won. Well, since seven. Work. Think they got other priorities. That's true.
Do we gotta keep these right? Wait, what? Head to the tr- oh, I go, okay. We gotta take it to the training course. Which is down there? Okay, this one, if this thing could fly in there, it should not be afraid of this fall. Okay, I guess you gotta come around. I don't see a way to the course from this side. This thing can, yeah, it can fly through the air, but it won't jump off like a 10 foot, you know, overhang. Gotcha. I guess this is the course. Well, that didn't exactly do what I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to, like, majestically soar. like a brick from what I saw. That wasn't, yeah, that, that was falling. That should be, we should all be dead. Very, very dead. To glide, you have to hold R2. The game does not tell you this. Uh, you, I just realized that myself. When I fell like a brick. trying to make it to the course and it's like not there but all right you know shouldn't there be like a river flowing at the bottom of this canyon by the way why is it red eating the chocobo he got kind of like had an existential crisis after that old woman fed him one of the chickens we found he no longer eats meat he's gone vegan Circle back. your mark aren't you the, the gold saucer champion you can barely ride this thing you ever watch final fantasy 7 abridged yes i've watched that liked it a lot i was, was kind of hoping they'd do ff8 abridged afterward but no such luck Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, you guys are assholes. before I remembered that I have a materia on Red 13 lets him use his abilities. It's like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, it's Red 13's move. think it's cute. And I want to get used to UP singing that? Yeah, I am. I'm used to her singing already in the game, actually. She's been doing it all life. Did I really climb all the way up here for like a Moogle medal? Yep. Single Moogle medal. Not worth. So how big are we looking at Cosmo Canyon here? Okay, very big. Okay, that, that Gungaga felt huge, and this is all of Cosmo Canyon. By the way, Wu Tai is out beyond you know, the rim here. We can't see it yet. Yeah, I want to point something out, by the way, that makes no sense. Do you remember the Junon cannon was designed to shoot at Wu Tai? They said it could hit Wu Tai from here. This gun has to shoot all the way across the ocean, all the way across an entire continent, and then another ocean to hit Wutai. It's basically shooting a round that has to circle half the globe before it hits its target. That, that's, a, that's a big... You know what? There's probably more efficient ways. like a chocobo launcher and you know but if the chocobo fucks up you're all getting minced you're just going into that like the chocobo like sneezes right before you run over it nothing but like meat hmm that leads back up to the top I believe Later tonight, do Moogles deserve full citizenship? You know, I think they have their own secret, like, nation to themselves. I remember they had, like, an island paradise in FF9. That they wouldn't let anyone else come to. Except for, like, you know, they're, they're basically, like... Like, Moogles are in chat. They're very, uh... Very reclusive. They don't let anyone but other Moogles into their country. This is actual canyon, by the way. They're xenophobic, alright? Right. 
your mind. It's on now. Pokemon are treated like humans to be sure. Well, no, they have to like serve their master and fight for them. It's not very human be human like. Do they do, do Pokemon get a vote in the the elections? No. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Rare ski ski variant detected. Commencing guidance. Shut up. At least they have universal health care. True, they get treated for free in any Poke Center. Rare ski -ski variant Did I start my Patreon yet? No, that'll be starting once I finish the video for FF7. Because I'll be launching that a couple days early on Patreon, along with like the exclusive videos. I need to have this finished though. I do have the first Patreon DLC video ready, and I'm currently working on Silent Hill as well. So I'll have those to go. So, almost got like the first wave of content done. I haven't played recent Pokemon. Or I haven't played a Pokemon since Pokemon Red, or was it Gold? I just I don't really have that big of an interest in Pokemon. So it's not like whenever there's a new one out, they always just kind of seem the same to me. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. But uh. They're treated way better and gaslights the audience to pretend they're always been like that. They can even break out of their balls. All I know is that in recent po recent years, Pokemon can increasingly have like really horrible backstories, but you never see any of that in game. Like there's like Pokemon that are known for like abducting children. <laughs> Let's kill these penguins. I need you to damage me. I need to do a limit attack. Hurry, hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. I need someone to heal me though before I die. Hang back. One more. What's going on? What the hell? What happened there? Send the, send these freaking penguins after Sephiroth. They can do that. Just give me another limit break. Knock that shit off. Kill this fucking thing. Holy god, no! Well, that's really cool you can do that. Uh oh. It's coming for her now. Uh, Blizzard? Don't mess with those things. Oh, fuck you, chat. You might. You saw what I was dealing with. I had that pretty well, and then all of a sudden that all occurred. It wouldn't stop spinning. I run out of MP.
we did our best. Hey, we, we, we got most of the data they need for whatever, you know, bullshit reason they talk about. Uh, chat, it is like past midnight. Uh, sorry, we're not much plot tonight, just a little bit, but tomorrow will be basically almost entirely plot. I'll get the Gongaga stuff finished off off stream and also probably do a lot of Cosmo Canyon off stream as well. So maybe we'll like get stop right bef maybe I'll stop right before I reach Cosmo Canyon location and then we'll just start from there. Uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> but that's it for me tonight. I am tired. My voice is like cracking left and right. Got to go to bed and go through puberty during the, my time of sleep. <laughs> Did I st but uh, you've all been wonderful tonight. Thank you for joining me all, everyone. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe, hit the follow button. Thank you for any memberships, subs, bits, gift subs, memberships, any of that stuff. And thank you to the wonderful mod team. I'll be streaming again tomorrow. Uh, if you care to join me, it'll be 7 p.m. again. What video games do you always go back to? For me, it's Generation Zero. Uh, I don't think there's any video game I particularly go back to other than like Deus Ex or FF9 to play every once in a while. Probably those two. Or Half-Life. Uh, but that's it for me, Chet. You all enjoy the rest of your night. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.